Yo, Let's go. how's it going, y'all? We are back here on the May Revenue On Air podcast. Here with the one and only... King Almighty Layak, also known as Incredibly <laughs> Handsome, Sexy, and Humble. <laughs> incredibly Handsome, Sexy, and, and Humble. humble. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, right? There you go. There you go. You got right? grounded, my so, brother. So, of course, of course. So, very interesting um, podcast episode that we're going to have today with the uh, King Almighty... Like he said, um, <laughs> very humble guy. Don't get it twisted. He, yeah, he is. He, de- he definitely is. And we're not just going to hop right into it because, um, first of all, how are you feeling today? How am I feeling? I'll be honest, mm-hmm. you know, like, because like a lot of people, they want to talk like, oh, I'm happy all the time. Or like, mm-hmm. oh, everything is so sad. Yeah. But like the thing is, my brother, mm-hmm. like uh, what I really learned is that life is like this. Yeah, of course. So like really. It's a roller coaster. So, so like <laughs> your priority is mm-hmm. that you never have a bad day mm-hmm. because like you worry about having a bad day like right. trust me dude you don't have to worry about that right so, right everything mm-hmm. is a good day yeah but then again it's like it's an awesome uh-huh. down right right and <laughs> and is that something that you just like tell yourself on a daily basis so mm-hmm. even if you have a bad day you still like well it was a bad day but overall i did so much great things the word your words have power my mm-hmm. brother yeah, right? of course. So, like, as cheesy as it sounds like, like, I don't want to wake up, but then, like, my eyes are open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do, of course. Do you, know, <laughs> do you know what I say to myself out loud? I go, the king has reason to conquer the day. Mm-hmm. Right, right, but, right. But, like, right. that's cheesy, though, so, right? Yeah. That's it, cheesy. It may be cheesy to some people, yeah. but that's your motivation. It's, yeah, And exactly. that's, that's what gets it, you up. Yeah. Some people, they just hit the snooze alarm. I was just saying, right? It's mm-hmm. all about... Everybody, like, everybody's too afraid to be, like, labeled. Everybody's too afraid to be judged. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it's, like, to lose love by the, mm-hmm. by, by the people that they love and care about. Yeah. But then, but then, my brother, how are you going to manifest? Like, yeah. Like, how are you going to gain success? And, bro, like, whether you want it or not, words of power, mm-hmm. self-perception, mm-hmm. okay, self-identity, yeah. and self-concept. Okay. Right? Literally, you can, you can be whatever you want. But mm-hmm. the thing is... So I learned this from like uh, Nero knowledge. I would never take credit. Yeah, for something yeah, like yeah. That. Of course, of course. And what really hit me is the way that I used to approach life. Uh-huh. Right, is that a lot of people, a lot of us, just like me before. Yeah. You, the first thing that you do if you mm-hmm. want to make a change is that you take an action. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh-huh. That's that. Th- this is like what how most people do it, and then that action they think is gonna get a desired result. Mm-hmm. And then that the desired result is gonna give them good emotions that they want to feel. Yeah. And then it will change who they are, yeah, which is yeah. their identity. Right, right. Do you separate like your emotions from like your your actions at all? You just do just it. Just do it. Okay. Okay. Right. And, and, and and for those people that is struggling mm-hmm. with that emotional side of them, what advice would you give them that maybe want to get in your position, that maybe do own a business, that maybe mm-hmm. do financial, but they're not, you know, services, but they're not doing it right? Like, what advice would you give them to control their emotions while trying to do this business? Self trust and your self belief. But the mm-hmm. problem is, the currency of self trust and self belief mm-hmm. is very hard to gain. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. you need to do a lot of internal work. Yeah. Do that come with a sp- spiritual belief at all? Or is that just like something that, that we all ha- you will say that we all have inside of us? We all have it inside of us. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, I'm not talking about like the modern, like, modern BS, like, kind of horoscopes, <laughs> crystals, <laughs> bullshit. No. That's not like, that's not real manifestation. That's not yeah. real spirituality. <laughs> right? Yeah. And this is another thing. Like, uh, uh-huh. like, why don't I start like impl- imp- like implying these lessons from like uh, neuro knowledge? Like really, shout out to him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, he doesn't even know me. Yeah. Right? But then he just helped me so much uh-huh. into my business and to who I am. Yeah. And like that self limitational belief. Yeah. Bro, so it's like. Yeah, yeah, and, like, and then I know you said um like for the people who does like the the stones or the rituals or yeah. like that spiritual like how do you convince them? You that. don't convince them <laughs> that that's not real because they're being bought into it. They, no, like like what? they convince themselves to it. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So like, yeah. how do you how do you not convince them? If they yeah. themselves brainwash so, themselves. Okay, so so right. how do you how do you explain uh re- religion and and uh, that religion. type of spiritual belief? The kind of spiritual belief. So like mm. so like so so here's the thing. Uh huh. Like just like around in the world, right? Negativity yeah. is like promoted yeah, yeah of right course. so like tiktok like you posted something in tiktok something stupid happening oh look yeah. th- this this guy killed somebody or like yeah or like mm-hmm. this woman like soccer kick another person <laughs> right like right on the head and then you're like whoa dude that's crazy that's crazy mm-hmm. but meanwhile 
right? Good things happen around the world, and you go like, hey, my neighbor just baked me cookies. Posting yeah. it on TikTok. How many views are going to get? Yeah, probably. How many? 20, like what? Two, like, yeah, 200, yeah. 100? Yeah. They don't care. So yeah, it's the yeah, same yeah. thing with any of these, like, religious yeah. beliefs, right? Yeah. So... With, with a religious belief, like, uh-huh. I've I met Muslims, I met Catholic, uh-huh. I met, like, different religion people. Yeah. And they are actually good. But mm-hmm. the problem is, there's always that minority. It's mm-hmm. always that little, like, little minority uh-huh. that is being hurt. Yeah. Because their life is terrible. So all they do, like, yeah. listen to me. Yeah. My life is terrible. Meanwhile, yeah, the yeah, people yeah, that yeah, get yeah, their, yeah. they got their the, shit together, the, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, need yeah, to be loud. Yeah, right. Dude, like, like, life is yeah. good over here. Yeah, so, like, yeah, you yeah. just meet them in real of life. Course. You're like, of oh, course, of nice. course. So, so. <clears throat> how do you suppose people like that like come out to the world and show the world like look it's not all this negative shit that we see every day mm-hmm. there are really good things happening in the world like mm-hmm. how do you promote that how do you brand that how do you get that to be big enough you just promote that with like relentless consistency that every mm-hmm. single day yeah that you are and like, hope it will you reach. are you are a representative mm-hmm. of god yeah right you are mm-hmm. a representative of god mm-hmm. but you are not god himself you're not all hearing yeah, yeah. you're not all mm-hmm. knowing you're not all seeing yeah, yeah yeah. and the thing is people are always gonna try to bring you down yeah because you gotta recognize that uh <coughs> in, in our current day society uh-huh. fear energy is running the world yeah and fear is manifesting into like fear of like what, I'm going to lose validation. I'm going mm. to get judged. Fear of being cheated on. Fear yeah. of being manipulated. Mm. Fear of like that's why like it's always in action. It's yeah. always rooted in fear. Yeah. But then the most powerful force in the world is like yeah. I said. I've been saying to my content. Yeah, yeah. It's love. Love. Okay. Right. So is that is that one way you would say to overcome all that fear that we do have in the world? Because when you think about this world, it is a lot of fear. It is a lot of negativity. But yes. not only is there so much fear and negativity, there's positivity as well. Exactly. So so but but for the most of it, all we see is fear and negativity. Because the world Why? controls it. Well, dude, okay, like like there's funny shit, right? Funny mm-hmm. shit. Like yeah. have a conversation <laughs> with people. Mm-hmm. Right? And then you see them, oh, it's been a long day. I got this, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's all negativity, right? And uh-huh. then you're that one person, like, so how's That's your positive. day? How, how's your day? <laughs> yeah. And then I just go, like, oh, dude, fucking amazing. Amazing, right. And then they just, like, look at me, like, fuck you. <laughs> right. Like, I hate you right now. <laughs> right, right, right. right, right, and, then, right. and then you're like, yeah. oh, I, I think that there's a negativity competition. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I, I can't just, like, enjoy life. Uh-huh. I can't just, I just be good. Right. Like, right, I right, literally right. would, like, look at them, like, direct eye contact uh-huh. because, like, I'm blunt and I'm just, like, yeah. authentic. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. I don't, like, filter my so, words. So, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, like, let, so, me, let me so, just continue this. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So, like, I don't just say, I'm like, dude, I'm like, I didn't know this was a competition. I, I would say this to them. I didn't uh-huh. know. Why is there a negative <coughs> competition? You yeah. know what? You guys yeah. have fun. Yeah. I'm going to go keep having a great time. A great time. Right, but right. But then like the question was like about like... Uh, so it's pretty much like what I'm, what I'm saying is how do... Like because we know there's a lot of negativity in the mm-hmm. world, right? And we know like that's, what, that's what's being like... Um, mm-hmm. um, promoted. Promoted to us, you know, on a daily basis. Correct. So, for the people that wants to be positive, for uh-huh. the people that have that in them, but all they see is negativity, uh-huh. they just look at the world like, this is a fucked up world, man. Like, yeah. ain't no way we could win it's in this. It's the victim mindset, you, right? Right, right, right. It's right, right. So, so like, how do you overcome I, that? It's, it's like, why would I even have a family? Yeah, yeah, of course. Right? It's of like course. a messed up world. Yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. What, what you gonna do for the rest of your life without family? Yeah, right. right. And, and that's true. But some people, they would, they would probably say like, well... That, that, that's just no, what it is. Just That's my choice. Fun. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm just going to live gonna my life. Because Because we live go. and one day we have to die. For people that's living in a world like that, that's like, bro, like we live and we die. Like yeah. the world is the same. Ain't nothing going to change. Like how do you show them something better? How do you, you sh- how do you promote to these people and like convince you, them that there's something better than that negative become, mindset? You become mm-hmm. the prime example. Mm-hmm. You okay. become okay because like yeah. here right like there's this law, law of polarity uh-huh. and i would always say this right yeah as you raise up your levels mm-hmm. right your energy your vibration yeah. and also your identity yeah. so therefore you're gonna get you're gonna become more competent mm-hmm. you're gonna become more like well connected mm-hmm. you're gonna become like more in control of yourself okay. your self-belief and your self-value yeah. all of this you're gonna attract like insane mm-hmm. like negativity from people are trying to bring you down mm-hmm. jealousy and envies oh He's faking it. Oh, mm-hmm. he's not even all that. Oh, he's yeah. just all. Oh, he's arrogant. He's too self centered. Yeah, yeah. He's too vain. Right? Yeah. Of course. But then on the other side, yeah. you got the people that are saying like, "Oh, f- I fuck with this guy. Yeah. I love your energy, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. like of we course. just met. Okay. And, and here's the thing. Uh huh. Right. People don't want to talk about this. Mm. 
bro, let me tell you two things that happened to me in Vegas. Uh-huh. Just on this trip. Yeah. When I was in the plane, I ordered Coffee Crisp, right? Because yeah. And I want two of those bad boys. Right. Which like cost you like 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. Right? In okay. the plane. In the plane, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, of course. And, and then I was like, I, I was like, my opener was, mm. hey man, what would I have to do to have two Coffee Crisps? Yeah. I present myself well. Yeah. And then... I saw the pilot during the flight. I shook their hands. They go, yeah. thank you very much for keeping us safe. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. You can say hi to the flight attendants. Like, yeah. I actually care about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then actually have genuine conversation with the passengers. Mm. Right? Do I, do I want anything from them? No. <laughs> right. Because the focus is right, to right, enjoy right. life and appreciate yeah. the beauty of life. Of course. Of course. Right? Because, like, there's a flight. And, yeah. and, like, we're all in this together. Mm. And then, like, like I, I, I had a talk with, like, with, with the old people, with, yeah. with, like, middle-aged people. Yeah. And then the flight stewardess and then the flight attendants. Yeah. Right, and just like, just taking that energy five. everywhere you exactly. go. Exactly. So that this positivity. What uh-huh. This is what happened, right? Mm. I want some coffee crisp. Mm. He gave me two for free. Didn't ask right. my card. Right. And then <laughs> I was in the hotel. Mm. I still remember. I give a fuck about it. Yeah. His name is Charles. Yeah. See, I give a fuck about. It. I still yeah. remember his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I haven't. <laughs> and then shout out to Charles. Charles is Charles. <laughs> Here's another thing. I remember mm-hmm. the name. Mm-hmm. Who like Sahara Hotel mm-hmm. Leslie. Okay, that's her name. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. I just I just arrived. I'm a little bit tired. Yeah. Right. And I was looking at Leslie. I just made eye contact. Yeah. Leslie, it's been a long night, isn't it? Right. <laughs> then boom, just like a conversation happened. Yeah. Right. Am I getting anything from this? No. I but like I, I just give a fuck about humans. Right. 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 I just give a fuck about. And this. it is so much to gain Except. from carrying that type of energy and it that is type so of much personality. To gain, but you but go. here's the thing, though, right? It's mm. again, it's this weird like how the universe works. Yeah. It's like the more you chase it, the more mm. it runs away from you. Yeah. And of obviously, mm. if you're so good at chasing it, yeah, you might catch it. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna keep running away, so yeah, you have yeah, to keep chasing change. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. Leslie find out, like uh, we're just having a casual convo, you know, mm-hmm. like your family. Yeah, I won't share any personal stuff, Leslie. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so and I was just in there, like in, yeah. in the front desk. Yeah. She find out, like mm-hmm. I didn't even ask it, like right. yeah, oh yeah, you know, like it's I, j- I just smoke cigars now and then. And yeah, go, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, you smoke uh-huh. cigars? Yeah. Let me upgrade your room to a smoking room. Yeah. Oh, and I was really? like, oh, and, 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 and then. <laughs> And then I was like looking at her. It's like, how much would that cost me? It's like, oh yeah. no, free, free upgrade. Right. 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 And then, and then also, mm-hmm. I'm going to, I'm also going to waive your three hundred dollars hotel fee. Wow. So now he's gonna have to worry about your security <laughs> deposit, but that's gonna wow. get back to your account. Right. After you leave and right. everything's all well. Right. So yeah. because I gave a fuck about uh-huh. Leslie, right. and I'm not like doing some weird shit. I'm not like trying to fuck her. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. like I'm I'm uh, I'm not like oh right. oh like oh like maybe if I do this I'll yeah, get yeah, something. Yeah. No, yeah, right. it's just that generally giving a that fuck genuine, about another person, right? Right, and then just right. good vibes all right. around, right? Right, like sharing that positive energy, and and that would take you so much farther exactly. than like trying to just force shit to happen and try exactly. to just be this person that you're not. Just be a genuine, dude, you know what I'm saying? Bro, Honest, bro, bro. Like, like, completed listen, person. Listen, dude, mm-hmm. I've been in high school once. I get it. You yeah. wanna be cool, right? Like, right, right, like right, you right, wanna right. be like, you wanna be cool. That person, oh, you wanna oh, be that me. guy. Exactly, you wanna <laughs> yeah. be him. Right, but that's not the real you. <laughs> right, right. So mm-hmm. in reality, if you wanna be him, you gotta be the real you. Yeah. And then you're gonna have that energy with right, you. Right, right, right. And and then like a lot of people, right? And then we mm-hmm. were just saying about like the genuine, because like we were talking about that, like how yeah. you even promote it. And we kind of yeah. ramble about the good things that happen uh-huh. to you yeah. because I want to make a point that like mm-hmm. yeah. Looks matter, mm-hmm. energy matters, yeah. right? And giving mm-hmm. a fuck about people matters. matters of course. And if you have that kind of divine energy within you, mm-hmm. you would attract good things. You're gonna but guess right. what? But mm-hmm. guess what? The dark forces will know it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of so, course. And it's so, always going to so be around, gonna no matter what. Yeah, of course, right? of course. The, the really? more positive you, yeah. positivity you put out into the world, just believe that there's some type of negativity out there that's 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 willing to knock that. You know, like because it's like a balance in this world. Uh, it's not all good and it's not all bad. But the more good you are, just understand that right around the corner there's something really bad that's ready, that's trying to take that good away from you. You know what I'm saying? So so and and just knowing that, right? What happens when negativity do come around you? When that negative negativity starts? Yeah, how do you handle that? Not for me to worry about. Mm. So you just don't worry about it. You just stay this positive. This is what you say from just, now on. This is uh-huh. what you say from now on. Uh-huh. Uh, so wait, wait, it, it sounds like you wait, don't really have bad just, days like that. Let me just let, let, let uh-huh. me just say this, right? Yeah. Found this girl hot. Mm-hmm. I'm too shy. What am I going to say? What is she going to think about me? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. Oh. What is that? That's not for me to worry about. 
Hello there. I find you very cute. What's your name? Okay. Okay. Another another thing. Another Understandable. Thing. Another thing. Another thing. <laughs> oh fuck. I've been taking a lot of risk. Oh, 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 this has been going on. I got to pay the bills. I got I to gotta go do this. I got to yeah. do this. Mm-hmm. And then you just look at your numbers and your bank account. Not for me to worry about. The next day, I'm going to have to make money. Okay. okay. Right now, I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah. Not for me to worry about that shit. I right. didn't sleep. Right? Then, right, right, right. You get what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah. what else another example? Uh-huh. Okay, what else another example, right? Oh, like, I have a clique. Or like, mm-hmm. I have a group. Yeah. That I belong to. I have a community to, to belong to. Mm. Now, they don't fucking like me. Mm. Because like, so for some reason, maybe like you've grown mm, or like mm-hmm. you've changed your personality, you've right. leveled up, right? Right. <laughs> you uh-huh. and everything. And what do you say? You say, that's not for me to worry about. Okay. And guess what? That happened to me because as I elevated my identity myself, yeah. right? You got to recognize, dude, a lo- there's another thing about like, uh, that I learned about spirituality, mm-hmm. practical, genuine spirituality, not mm-hmm. the modern BS spirituality. Yeah. So... Is as you elevate your level, mm-hmm. a lot of people say, well, I'm just trying to be better. I'm mm-hmm. trying to start a business. Or mm-hmm. like, I'm trying to get a promotion. Mm-hmm. Or like, I'm just trying to get out there, you know, build relationships. Mm-hmm. Or like, maybe find your girl or your partner. Mm-hmm. But then, why do bad things happening to me? Yeah. Because you must recognize, right? As they say, it is mm-hmm. real. New levels have new demons. Yeah. And big, all, all of those... The bigger the level, the bigger the devil. And then, all of those negativity is a manifestation mm-hmm. yeah. of your old identity clinging on its life. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of people, mm-hmm. right? Here's the here's a red word: mm-hmm. sacrifice. Ooh, scary, right? Like you're that's like sacrifice. Important, though. That's sacrifice. important. But a lot of people take sacrifice mm-hmm. as negative. Like, yeah, yeah, of course, of negative. So, so, and I'm pretty sure you're about to explain this. So, mm-hmm. how do you explain the sacrifices that you do need to take on a daily basis to somebody who just think like, oh, sacrifice as, as a negative situation? You just, like, I've learned from neuro knowledge and, and the way, like, he, he portrayed it. I don't want people to think that, yeah. like, I'm so cool and, like, Layak just learned mm-hmm. all of this knowledge. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. dude. I, I had a lot of role so, models right, right, and right. I have a lot of mentors. Neuro, 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 narrow, narrow knowledge. Neuro knowledge, like, okay. And yeah. you're going to have to explain that to, to us, like, yeah. especially for people who don't know, you for know, sure. anything about it, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. neuro knowledge is, it, he is such... An amazing mentor, my brother. Mm-hmm. Is is like so he's a like, is, he's a guy. Is... He is a spiritual mentor, Spir- okay. like practical spiritual mentor. Uh-huh. You can check his IG and everything. Uh-huh. And I just start watching his content, and then mm-hmm. everything comes together. Like hey, like for example, me and you doing a podcast yeah, right yeah. now. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. And then like oh, then and then all these good things start happening to me. Yeah, yeah. Of right. Course, I start meeting people. I start mm-hmm. building new social circle. Yeah, yeah. And then with my personal branding, it's mm-hmm. just because I elevated my self belief. That's why I even changed my username, mm-hmm. King Almighty Lake. That's why yeah, in the yeah. morning. I tell to mm-hmm. myself, the king has risen to conquer the day, yeah, right? Of course, because because of him, and mm-hmm. it just elevated my identity, my yeah. energy, Your personality. and then everything. Okay. So okay, so but obviously it also elevated the hate. <laughs> but, <laughs> of course, but, because but, like but, we yeah. said earlier, the bigger the level, the, the bigger, bigger the devil. Okay, uh-huh. so so like uh, <laughs> like I, I just ramble a little bit because like mm-hmm. you, you want me to explain like near knowledge. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, that's who it is, right? Yeah. You know he doesn't know me. He probably doesn't give a fuck oh, about me. Oh, okay, okay. But okay. I give a fuck about him. About him because he like like his content <laughs> really helped me. Yeah. Like to elevate me mm-hmm. and the business and mm-hmm. the way. That, that I'm building genuine that connection doing. to people. Okay, so, right? and like you said, he don't know you, he don't know anything about you. Yeah. So, and then, do you guys do similar things, like business-wise? Or? No, his business is like mentoring, like business consulting. Uh-huh. Right? And, we're, and we're just like, knowing him and following his structure made your business and absolutely. what you do. It. Wow. Okay. Absolutely. Because he gave up so much value. Mm-hmm. And right. dude, have you, and, dude, and would you say that's character. Would you say that's greater than money? I would say if he was what, what, to give you a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars over his the knowledge that you already getting from him, would you mm-hmm. turn down a hundred thousand or would you sit down with him man? I, I get would more turn knowledge? down five million. I don't care. Yeah. Money is okay. not real, and I'm a financial consultant. Yeah, money is not real. Money yeah, is so just how, how money, does that work? Money is just a tool. Mm-hmm. Money is just a tool. Mm-hmm. As a financial consultant, I'm saying to you that money is not real, uh-huh. but you need to be competent in the money matters because mm-hmm. competency in the money matters. It's like. It's just stupid, okay? Let's say we're playing soccer. We are mm-hmm. competing in soccer. Yeah. I know the basic rules of the soccer. Mm-hmm. You don't. Mm-hmm. So I could just literally lie to you. I can yeah. just like manipulate you. <laughs> yeah. I can just finesse you. They're yeah. like, well, actually, that rule don't work. So uh-huh. so I'm just going to go. <laughs> like, you just give me the ball, and then I'm going to move on to the goalpost like 
two meters. Yeah. It's just stupid. Yeah. And then people are like, oh, well, like, they don't realize this mm -hmm. until they're, like, in their 30s and their 40s. Like, uh -huh. like, dude, I'm telling you, common sense is uncommon anymore. Uh -huh. And the reason, dude, let me tell you something. Yeah. Once you're 60, once you're 55 years old, mm -hmm. money don't matter. Right? Yeah. Like, the, and, the and festival... Then, like, and wait. I don't want you to finish, obviously, but uh -huh. you definitely have to explain to the people why do you feel like money don't matter. Because a lot of people will tell you, like, oh, oh money doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> like, listen. <laughs> it matters. It only matters. It only matters. Money only matters until the debt collectors stop knocking on your door. Mm -hmm. Once you've reached <laughs> stop, that level... Stop knocking on your door, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay, you're right. <laughs> that is... Once you've reached a point of like, mm -hmm. oh, now I got right. enough money right. to get rid of the debt collectors yeah. that's been annoying yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then right. when you're on that level of scarcity mm -hmm. uh -huh. and servability mindset, yeah. right? But you're not functioning on an abundance mindset. Uh -huh. You're always on survival mode. You're yeah. not thriving. Of yeah, course yeah, yeah. you would money think matters. money matters. Yeah, because you're on survival mode. Because you're, and you're survival like, mode. You need money so exactly. much. Exactly. And that's... So that's much. so crazy because you like the other day on another episode i said like uh i was talking to one of my guys and i'm like i'm explaining to him like how to me money isn't real because Not it's real. just something that you they put a value on that they tell you is real and it's worth this and worth that but mm -hmm. back then all we were doing was trading things for whatever we wanted back then you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying skills, so money, right? right skills yes our mentality our, our what we can do what we can give in what they can you know what bars what, yeah exactly you know so so explain explaining that to him, and then like just 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 hearing what you just said, it makes it makes a hell of a lot of sense because it's like when you think about it, money only matters to us when we're in debt, when we need money. Exactly. Because there's so many millionaires out here that don't need it no more because they have yeah. so much of it. It's like, bro, like I'll give what you do I do it? Right now. <laughs> yeah. I'll like, give what, you what else like, is like, there like, to like, do with it? I, I give you yeah. eight k right now. Okay, your rent is all fine. You mm. can feed your family now. What? Right, right, right. Then, you you yeah, like yeah. traveling around still, a little bit? Yeah. Are you right. still stressing? Ma ma money, still you're not stressing about money yeah. anymore. So now, yeah. right, let's say yeah. the debt collectors uh -huh. is handled now. Uh -huh. What really matters? Uh -huh. What really matters is genuine life connections, mm -hmm. right? Genuine life connection, mm -hmm. having a purpose. When mm -hmm. you're a man, okay, what really matters mm -hmm. is that building your legacy because you must think, right? And mm -hmm. you're a family man too. Of course. So you, we've lost this kind of tradition mm -hmm. where, and, and I want to bring it back. You know when we introduce ourselves before? Yeah. Right? Let's say like, for example, introduce yourself. Hey, man, what's your name? Right. I'm no, like, nice to meet you. All right. Yeah. But there's no pride. Yeah. There's no, like, there's no pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but course. before, you introduce yourself. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Lyak, son of yeah. Michael Corpus. My last name <laughs> is the Corpus family. Right. Back then. No pride. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's like I carry, like yeah, I carry yeah, 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 the of name course. of my family corpus. Of course, of course, There's a of legacy behind it. Yeah. But now yeah. they water down all of that because they don't want yeah, you to yeah, care yeah. about of that. Course. And you, you know what it reminds me of, man. And like you know the type of energy you give me, and um, and I, and uh, I hope I don't offend you, but uh -huh. Andrew Tate, are you familiar yeah. with him? Absolutely. And and, and listen, you, yeah, listen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I listen to like uh like four like to 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 a kickboxing world champion uh -huh. that is bald that is bald on authentic mm -hmm. and look where it get me yeah of course and i didn't only listen to him i've mm -hmm. listened to multiple mentors too right right because right. a lot of people want to put themselves in a box and and, and when you know? it comes to guys like Andrew Tate and guys like Elon Musk and all these big names and uh mas you know like mas guys with masculinity and like believe in that it. type why would you think the world would reject reject something like that? They would reject it mm -hmm. because it is an energy functioning on love, and mm -hmm. it is the most mm -hmm. powerful forces in the world. Mm -hmm. You really think they want people walking around that is when we met each other, mm -hmm. forming genuine bonds, yeah. genuine brotherhood, yeah, 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 genuine yeah, yeah, connections. Yeah. When you talk yeah. to another like woman, like okay, it's my responsibility and honor mm -hmm. to protect her and take right, care right, of her, right. her, and, and, and right? be a man, right? Be a man. When right? have when have real men like? When did we lose our way? Like, when did that become a negative thing in it society? It become a negative thing mm -hmm. because of all, like, the propagandas, all the controlling. Yeah, bro. Like, it's, it's all pretty much like the matrix, yeah, as yeah, they yeah. say. But here's the thing, <clears throat> dude. Mm -hmm. Right? Since the beginning of times, mm -hmm. when the world or the country is going into shit, who do what, they depend on? <laughs> what, what do they do? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing that you do, the uh -huh. first thing that you do, right, mm. is bring out the circus. 
Mm. Oh, great. Bring out the gladiators. Right. <laughs> oh, what's that? We're going to war with Greece. We're yeah. like we're being attacked. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, like, like our city is being plundered. Mm. Don't worry. We yeah. got the circus. We got the gladiators. Right. So it's the same thing here. Yeah. You got Taylor Swift uh -huh. concerts. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, Kid yeah. Laroi concerts. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Well, what else are concerts there? Mm. Like some, some like band concerts. Uh -huh. You got TikTok. You got mm -hmm. like all this social media, right? Yeah. And then for all of you nerds that are out there, they're like, oh, social media is <laughs> fake. Like, you know, I, I don't deal with all of that. Mm -hmm. Brother, let's be honest here. The reason why you're not posting anything in social media is because you got nothing to show for. Let's be real here, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Because you know deep down you don't have that self trust that you yeah. don't want other people to mm -hmm. see your life. Right, right, right. Because you yourself yeah. doesn't think that yeah. your life has value. Value. Right? Okay. 100%. Bars. Yeah. Bah, bah, bah. yeah. And then and yeah. then what about the people who gets on social media and their whole life is a freaking lie? Their whole life is a freaking lie. Mm -hmm. They made their own bed. Yeah. Obviously, you know, we live in a society where like men can't be men no more. And it's such a weird, like, like, um, situation to where, like, this world wants to take that away from us, especially, like, masculine men who still believe in being the head of the household, mm -hmm. you know, st still believe in, like, oh, I must protect my family, I must uh, serve and protect my country type, you know, type shit, mm -hmm. and, like, uh, just, just men being men, period, and uh, women being women. For some reason... They the equality thing that they're taking mm -hmm. has been taken so far to where it's like, oh, we can do what y'all do. Uh, what's wrong with women being? But what's wrong with and women down, being how they were born to be? You know. And deep <laughs> down, people want it because, like, yeah. you know what I mean. Like, but like, why? But like, but like, they won't claim it in public. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, girls, yeah, yeah. girls like would never claim mm -hmm. in public. Like. I find his masculinity very mm. attractive, but yeah, yeah, I am yeah, too yeah, yeah, fearful. Yeah. Right. I am too fearful right. to be with him right. because I might lose self control. Mm. And obviously, mm. I've been around, mm. right? Yeah, I yeah. literally have girls like fall in love with me. Yeah. But like, like you know, there, there's one for girls that I fell in love with. Yeah. But then they fell in love with me too. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> but then they're just too fearful. Like yeah. I, I would literally be and, like, and what, wait, what wait, make a woman to fear a man like you? Listen, listen to this. Or us. Like I had know. a one girl. Mm -hmm. Ever before, that like, uh, this is when I know I reach next level. Yeah. When, like, a woman literally said this to me in front of my face. Yeah. It's just, like, she said, I don't want to go to the next date because mm -hmm. I know I'm going to lose self-control of myself if I spend the night with you. Oh, really? <laughs> and I was well, like... Why, why do you think, though? Why do you think? No, she, she, oh, why do I think that she thinks yeah, like that she would, Yeah, yeah, that Because she would when that you're way. with me, mm -hmm. you feel safe and mm -hmm. secured mm -hmm. and protected. Mm -hmm. And because I'm not trying to impress anybody right. to get validation. Right. And I'm genuinely, are. like, like <laughs> yeah. authentic myself. Right. Right? And I'm not afraid... To take what I want. That's mm -hmm. the thing. The reason why you don't get what you want is because mm -hmm. you are shamed. And you are afraid. guilt. You are <laughs> guilt, right? It's all about shame. It's not like, oh, you want to get what you want? Shame on you. You uh, want to get what you want? Right. Feel guilty. Right. You want to get right. what you want? Right. Right. Be, right. You are right. undeserving right. to get what you right. want. It's all of those tactics. Yeah, and, and it makes it makes a lot of sense because what because some some guys right. And I, I used to do it sometimes. I'm like, I used to feel guilty about wanting to mm. be a man. You know what I'm saying? See? And wanted to, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And wanted there to like go. tell my woman to stay in her place, mm -hmm. and wanted to tell people like, but this is how her. it is. Right, right, right. So and you so, would do it because you love yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, of course, listen, of course. Listen, and, and if you <laughs> girls that are right there, if you got a yes man, he never said no to you. Mm -hmm. He's always compliant. Yeah. Guess what? Here's a reality track that you don't want to hear. That man don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't. He doesn't. So, it's either he don't yeah. give a fuck about you yeah. or or he's too much of a pussy to give a fuck about you. Either way, you're not going to want him. But nobody's ready to... Nobody ready to nobody's like, ready for nobody's the truth. Nobody's right? ready for nobody, that. Nobody, because, nobody's ready for the truth. Because keep, it, keep it real with yourself. Yeah. Like, for example, if you have a woman, right, and you tell her and she's like, oh, babe, this is how I'm going outside tonight. And you tell her, like, absolutely not. I tell and, you what. Uh -huh. I, tell her, I tell you a story. Yeah. It's the same girl who told me uh -huh. that she don't want to spend the night with me uh -huh. because she's afraid that she, I mean, she's afraid and she knows uh -huh. she's going to lose control when she's with me. Yeah. So, you can only do this. Like, there's like big, there's like big boy shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, the thing is, a lot of you guys portray yourself with like fakeness in the beginning. 
So and you see this happens all the time. Yeah. When they try to get girls, yeah. right? They like they're like faking it. Mm-hmm. And then they try yeah, to switch course, their personality yeah, 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 when yeah, they get into yeah, a relationship. Yeah. So listen to Because l- it was l- fake l- from the jump. Listen, l- listen, all right? Like th- this like like mm. I talk shit equally to everybody. Mm. Like I just had a reality check with mm. a woman. I'm going to have a reality check with the other men out there. Mm. Okay? So you faking who you are is the equivalent of your girl is being beautiful with a makeup on. Yeah. She took off the makeup yeah. and now she's ugly. <laughs> you misrepresenting yourself uh-huh. if you portray yourself as like Mr. the man mm. and then Two to three months later, it turns out you're a fucking pussy and you don't have your life together. Of course she's going to be like, she's going to be scammed. She's like, who the fuck do you think of you are? Of course she's leaving. Of course she's, she's leaving. Cheating. She's leaving you. Okay. So like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so in reality, bro, you mm. got to own it. And if you don't like what you're owning, yeah. well, you got to elevate what you're, what you're right, owning. Right, right, right. There's no like. So, so, you know, so what, what advice would you have wait, wait, for like, men out there just, like that? Let me just finish. It's a story about that girl, right? <laughs> okay. So, so like the story about that girl. Yeah. Yeah. There's like the reason why I can pull this off because mm-hmm. in the very beginning I didn't fake shit. Mm-hmm. Like she knows that like I'm blunt. She knows I'm like authoritative. She mm-hmm. knows that I take the lead. I'm not afraid to get what I want because mm-hmm. even though other people is gonna make me feel shame, guilt, and judge me, put labels on me. Yeah. Narcissistic, manipulative, right, too right, controlling. Right. You're insecure. Right. Whatever. Looks so sexy and handsome and humble. Me. <laughs> right. Okay. So, dude. <laughs> Yeah. One time, at one night, uh-huh. because like uh, she told me, mm. right, that she is gonna go with her girlfriends to a circus, mm. right? She's mm. gonna go like to, to like a circus, mm. and then in the moment, I didn't worry about it. Mm. And then like after two days later, I just, I just said, oh, I don't want her to go. I'm just gonna call her. Yeah, call her. Yeah. Ring. Yeah. And then I was like, hey, I just remember you're gonna go to circus with your girlfriends. Mm-hmm. But you people are too pussy to do this. So this is how you say it. Because let's be honest here, right? You need to know that a girl has emotional needs, sexual needs, and physical needs. Mm-hmm. A lot of you men are terrible with the emotional needs. And when I said emotional needs, I'm not talking about being a pussy. <laughs> There's a big difference. This is how you do it. I don't want her to go for the circus. What do you say? Hey there, name. I just remember that you're going to circus. Mm. I don't feel comfortable and I don't feel safe for you going along. Mm. Because first, you're going to be with your girlfriend. Mm. I don't know who's your girlfriend. Mm. I don't trust her. Mm. Second, I don't even know if there's even going to be guys around mm. that can take care of you and protect you. Mm. If I'm not around, mm. who else are going to take care of you? Mm. Mm. So, like, I really care yeah. about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give a fuck about you. Mm. I don't want you to go to that circus. Yeah. And would you your, be wait, comfortable wait, wait, let being this. there? Wait, 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 listen uh-huh. to this, right? Like, I portray it because now I just communicated that the reason I don't want her to go yeah. is because I give a fuck about her. Yeah, right, right, right. So, and, and that's I, what you I worry made her about her. Yeah, yeah, that's right? what she just so, made her know. But yeah. most of you guys would go out there and would <laughs> ignore that shit and be like, no, I don't want you to go. Why? I just I don't want you to go. I don't know yeah, what you're yeah, doing. Yeah. It's because you're functioning on a fear energy. Oh, like, oh wh- what if she cheated on me? Mm. What, what if like this manipulative? Mm. Blah blah blah. And, like, for what me, about but what about the women out there that would say like, oh, but what well, what what are you so afraid of? Like, let her go. Like, what are you like? Are you insecure yeah. about your? Yeah. You know what, I'm saying? what about so them? so that's all cap. That's all testing. Uh-huh. You gotta recognize they can't help it. Mm-hmm. In order for them. To know that you are the man that will take care of her, that mm-hmm. would appreciate her, mm-hmm. that would like actually love her, of her future children. If you can't say no to your girl, how the fuck you're gonna handle other people? Because mm-hmm. you're gonna have to say no to other people. Yeah. To protect what you love, yeah, yeah. what you care about, uh-huh. and, and your family. And what if she still go? What do you do? Or what if that she... girl don't give a fuck about you if she goes? Because listen, imagine this. I just communicated with you, baby. Mm-hmm. I don't want you to go because I actually give a fuck about you. Mm-hmm. I care about you. I'm not gonna be there. I don't. I don't trust the people that you're gonna be around. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And then she go like she's acting. Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Maybe you can communicate then. Why are you acting like this? We are in love and we are together. Why are you acting like this? Mm-hmm. Like like let's actually have a genuine so, conversation. So so and then, so what and about men well, that would wait, just tell him like. That I said that that's what I uh-huh. said and and I just gave you my reasons why uh-huh. I don't want you to go. Why are uh-huh. you still talking about it? 
Like, yeah. let it be that. Just don't go, and that's it. What if she oh. continue to argue back? Like, yeah, exactly. She... So, so listen, right? <laughs> you're giving her two chances. Mm -hmm. First is, like, you, you legitimately give a fuck about her because you love her, mm -hmm. right? You don't even have to tell that you love her because, like, she, subconsciously she knows that, like, oh, this man actually gives a fuck about me. Mm -hmm. He must love me, yeah. right? And then the second thing is that, like, why are you acting this way? Mm -hmm. I just care about you, and we are together, and we are in love. Why are you acting this way? Mm -hmm. And then she still goes, my brother, you have to let, you have to walk away. Yes. It's the art of the deal. It's the art of negotiation. You got to learn when to walk away. Yeah. Listen, you're not being a dickhead. Like, you're not, you, you, okay, like, you didn't tell her, listen here, bitch. Like, you're not going to go there. I don't give a fuck. The, yeah. You didn't, no, you communicated well enough that you have good intentions, mm. right? And, and, and you and, didn't do that shit. And then what happens if she have a valid reason for why she's going with her friends? Like she's like, oh no, this is uh, something we planned. Then she gives a fuck about your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then right? she gives a fuck about about her friend, then mm. you, and your future family, then your love and your relationship. And then, she's just and, different priorities. And then what happens when like she tells you like, hey, you know what? I've been with you. Like, I love you. You know, huh? I don't do this thing, do this often, but there should be a time when I have girl night and there should be a time when you have guy night. How do you go about that? Mm. The only reason that happens is because other other men haven't been in that caliber of world mm. where, listen, my brothers, if a woman genuinely feels safe and secured around you, mm -hmm. you'll never have this kind of problems. Why? Because you become her world. And I'm not lying to that. I'm okay. not lying to that. You know, okay, there's a stereotype. Oh. And maybe some other man has experienced this because they're able to to present themselves and to be competent enough mm -hmm. to provide security and comfort where their women just become little fucking children that are dumb and stupid mm -hmm. it's like another children mm -hmm. it's like it's like did you just see that you almost hit your head on the fucking cross post <laughs> if i didn't change your direction while we're walking together yeah your head would have hit it true you've seen this happen true. before uh, or like or like, or like we're walking together we're walking hands yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a clear fucking bump that yeah, you see yeah. a mile away. You see it. Right. She doesn't. She doesn't. Yeah. Because she's too focused being with you. Yeah. And that's yeah. another thing that yeah, I was yeah, telling. That's so true. <laughs> and that's another thing that I project. Because uh -huh. when you're with me, you're taken care of. Everything is paid. Everything mm -hmm. is planned. I tell you, wear something presentable and nice. You don't need to be a Victoria's Secret fucking model. Mm -hmm. Just be presentable. Because look at me. You mm -hmm. think you can be ugly when you're with me mm -hmm. while we're out in public? Mm -hmm. No. Right. <laughs> right. You represent me. We are together. Right. 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 And I'm doing you a favor because mm -hmm. look at how good I am. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So, da -da. so, right, right. So, wait, wait, so, wait, 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 yeah, go ahead, this, right? go ahead. So, that kind of like safety nest, because they can just legitimately turn off their brain. Mm -hmm. Because, like, they just go, like, say, Oh, I really love him. I can just turn my brain off. Mm -hmm. Life is easy. When we're traveling, yeah. everything is paid, everything is planned. And I don't need to worry about of, this. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you as a man, mm -hmm. you're like, That's like the biggest turn on ever. Yeah. Cause right, like I'm right, taking right, care right. of my girl. Right, right, I'm right, the right, fucking right. man. You know she's she like, trusts me. She, she trusts knows me. like and then she's, she don't have she's to worry about anything. She's looking at me as like yeah. an admiration, yeah. as a leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With those like, and, with those like cute, adorable and eyes. And do you think Dude. for the people that think like being that type of person has to come with some type of wealth? Do you, is, is that true? Like, like being, a wealth? Yeah, yeah. Does that no. have to being that type no. of man? Does that have to come with wealth for a woman to like really just accept that type of man? Like like money? You need money? Yeah, yeah. Do you need no 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 no? Listen, listen, listen. If you keep getting girls that are mm -hmm. just gold diggers and just care about money, mm -hmm. you're in the wrong environment. Travel okay. around the world, okay? okay. Like, like ch change your home place. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Change your place that you frequent. And another call out to other men. You guys are stupid. Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm trying to find love. I'm going to go to the rave. Yeah, I met her in the <laughs> rave. I married her after two years. At the bar, at the party. <laughs> I'm like, What? Oh wait, dude! No, she's just different. So, she's just different. So no, where, Akeem, where's a good Akeem, place listen, to find love? But, but, but like Akeem, listen, uh -huh. or a woman different. like that. She's uh -huh. just different, Akeem. Yeah. Like you know, like oh, she's a stripper. She's a stripper. No, no, she really cares about yeah. me. You know, like she really cares about me. Yeah, she's yeah. different. We're gonna get married. Why do men believe that though? That they could fall in love with a stripper, or they could fall in love at a bar. Is that possible? Akeem, I'm just gonna be get a little bit serious, my friend. Yeah. Because uh, uh -huh. there is a. There is a legitimate loneliness mm -hmm. and overlooked as a man. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you actually go to my Instagram and there's a post, mm -hmm. despite of my, me and my father's differences, mm -hmm. I still appreciate him as a man and as mm -hmm. my father. Mm -hmm. Right? So why would a man always bend the knee? Why would a man is subservient? 
will give mm-hmm. up his brothers, mm-hmm. will give up his community. Mm-hmm. Well, who doesn't want to be loved? Who doesn't want to be appreciated? Right? Yeah. Imagine you as a man, mm-hmm. right? You're legitimately, you don't even have, like you don't even need to be a multi-millionaire. Yeah. You're re- really doing your best, mm-hmm. right? And you don't know any better because mm-hmm. like people have been telling you, okay, you got to be like this. Okay, you got to be like this. Okay, you got to be like this. And then nobody wants to talk about that when you're a woman and you fucked up, when you're a woman and you fucked up, mm-hmm. don't worry, baby. We got you. Everybody makes a mistake. Mm-hmm. I totally get it. True. Okay, just true, next true, time, true, true. Just, just just next time, just be careful. Just be better. You fucked up as, as a man. man. You, can't you fuck fucked up as a man. What did you say? <laughs> listen, man, there's no listen, like listen, Akeem. <laughs> listen, Layak, yeah. you must do better. Yeah. Listen, this is why yeah, you yeah, fucked yeah. up. Mm-hmm. So there's a big difference, but nobody mm-hmm. wants to talk about it. But yeah. listen to you, right? You're mm-hmm. doing your best, right? Mm-hmm. And then, really, what you're looking for is just love, mm-hmm. connection, mm-hmm. genuine appreciation, mm-hmm. and validation. Right. And that's why you would see other yeah. men that would work their ass off mm-hmm. into some sort of a company. Because at least mm-hmm. when they enter the room of that company... They get respected and validated by their yeah. other peers. Right. Because outside the company, mm. no validation and no appreciation. And, and that, is that why you think men uh, in general want more That's power why they all the time? Why they, yeah. why they strive for greatness? Why they go reach for the stars? A part of that. Mm-hmm. But like, here's the thing though, mm-hmm. right? There's a big difference. Often, I've seen it happens all the time. No. And you can experience this when you're like, even like an average person. Where you have a supervisor or a manager mm. that doesn't have any fucking quality of a leader. Right. You've seen right. it happen all the time. Like, they're just in a position just because. Just because. It's like, no, no leadership, no, no personality. Like, no... Like, 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 you wouldn't want to be mm-hmm. with him or led her. By that guy. Or her. Right. Right? Yeah. Managed by that guy, led by that managed, guy. Or... Managed by that guy or, mm-hmm. or, like, managed by that girl. Mm-hmm. No leadership qualities. Mm-hmm. Panics all the time. And then mm-hmm. instead of taking accountability, just mm-hmm. reflecting the fucking blame. Yeah, yeah. To just others. blaming. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, the reason why this happened because you didn't do this correctly. Yeah. yeah. Well, instead you see, of... I have, like, all of that mm-hmm. bullshit, right? Yeah. And then, <laughs> dude, okay, so I've noticed that mm-hmm. when weak people for the longest of time, when they mm-hmm. didn't put in the genuine work mm-hmm. to handle their inner demons mm-hmm. and their internal conflicts of mm-hmm. themselves, their insecurities, mm-hmm. they didn't look themselves in front of the mirror. Here, mm-hmm. here's a life hack. How do you... How do I make myself better and improve my life? Mm-hmm. Look yourself in the mirror <laughs> and say, I'm a fucking mess. What the fuck is the first thing I'm going to do now that I recognize and I fully accept that I'm a fucking mess? That's what right. you do. Life hack number one, and then right. just have the genuine conversation <laughs> with yourself. Trust me, right. you'll, you'll elevate new levels, but <laughs> people are still too afraid to do that when mm. nobody's watching. Mm. They just by themselves, maybe in a washroom or like mm. in front of, me- of a mirror, having that fucking talk. And, and it's pretty right. much just self accountability. Yeah. And what what do you think will stop people from like having no, self accountability? Like, uh, let, let, let me just talk about this. Mm-hmm. Because now, right like about the leaders and stuff mm-hmm. when you give weak people power oh. they abuse it because for the first time in mm. forever they've it's, been it's, so high it's not that power corrupts uh-huh. all uh-huh. Pa- power corrupts the weak uh-huh. because if you give uh-huh. the strong power they know the control. fucking responsibility yeah. <laughs> that power, power comes along with it and trust me in here trust me in here <laughs> all of you guys haven't reached that level nobody is the biggest critic for mm-hmm. us successful people than ourselves. Mm-hmm. When we are by ourselves, right? We are our biggest critic mm-hmm. because we have to live up to standards. Mm-hmm. Because we are innovators, we are role models and we basically have to take care of the people that we love, that we care about and our circle. Mm-hmm. Because listen, I like for me because as a leader, yeah. you too as a leader, right? Of you are you are the first to blame when shit Goes like wrong. hits the fan. Uh-huh. Of course. But who is the last person to get complimented? You. Right. Who gets complimented right. first is your team members. Yeah. Right? Right. But then the, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. You got like, listen, you give the weak like power, mm-hmm. right? And society gives the weak power. And they abuse because, it. Because they abuse As it. As we can see. Because like weak people mm-hmm. doesn't stand for anything mm-hmm. and they just mm-hmm. say, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. They uh-huh. want you. It's like yeah. they can control you, right? Yep. And even when the truth and the fact are right in front of their face, they're still in denial. They're still in denial. Right. Strong people are Because it has to go their way. Strong people, <laughs> like, they're like a deterrent of themselves, which mm-hmm. is funny. 
Yeah. <laughs> because what yeah. makes you so successful mm -hmm. is you being so self-criticized right. of yourself. Of your, right. Like 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 you like 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 yeah. you having high standards, you're mm -hmm. like Fuck, I'm a pussy because I didn't do this. Yeah, like right. we, you had those kind of conversations, <laughs> right, of but weak people right. don't have those conversations on late they, nights they or in front of dinner. It. They, they just, just accept they it. For forget, they forget. They, they forget about it. They don't yeah. think about. It. Meanwhile, you ask, right? I came. They're like, yeah. I should have handled that way better. Mm -hmm. This is where I messed up. And then you yeah. just have that inner conflict talk. Mm -hmm. We're like with yourself. And then and then you just work. We're like, what mm -hmm. if I'm not good enough? Right. Right? right, right. We are right. the biggest our critique. So, yeah, yeah, so you don't have, you don't have yeah. like, like when a person is competent, right? When, when a person is competent, mm -hmm. right? And really going out there, have leadership qualities and strong yeah. and working on his inner struggles, mm -hmm. right? And not just a yes man, mm -hmm. right? Dude, you have you nothing to worry value. about. You, you have nothing. You give him, you give him power. Yeah. They, they are the, like, dude, they're going to take your business. Exactly. <laughs> Everything is going to run smoothly. Weak people, mm -hmm. you have to worry. Because mm -hmm. they are not the kings. Right. They become the tyrants. Uh-huh. They, be, they, they tend to treat everything that they never had, like they, attend, they tend to abuse it. Like if they have, if you put the weak people in um, leadership position power, they, they abuse that, that position. Shit. They be like, oh, you need to go do this because I told you mm -hmm. to do this. Oh, you need and to. And I experienced yeah, that. Yeah. Because yeah. I show up on any work, uh -huh. fucking bad boy. Mm -hmm. Just. Like, who the fuck is this motherfucker standing tall, you know, right. like fucking fade every single week, yeah. haircut, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. with his eyebrow slit tattoos, he's yeah. good looking. He also knows how to fight. He's an amateur right, boxer. Right, 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 right. And now he's working on his job. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Yeah. They hate they me, hate bro. <laughs> they because they it. know. They look at me and they yeah. see like, oh, this motherfucker it's, wakes it's up. It's fair. Yeah. It's exactly. fair. They no, see it. No, it's not even fear of me. They're of just afraid of themselves. Because they of know being, they can be of not me. being, yeah, exactly. not like they see this image in front of them, and they're like, and they hate, the, and and it makes them hate themselves because they're like, damn, like who the fuck does this motherfucker think he is? Mm -hmm. You're the only one that's thinking, um, you know, like. Then meanwhile, you're I'm, just <laughs> genuinely chilling there. You're right. genuinely yeah, chilling you're, there, right? If you just came bro. up to me like, hey, bro, how are you, man? Like, yeah. you carry yourself so properly. You're you're such a genuine guy. You seem like a. I want to. I would love to know what you do. Exactly. I would love to know more about you, but instead, exactly. you're like. Psh, who the fuck he think he is? Exactly. <laughs> I'm whoever you think I am. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> put the labels more. on me, whatever, right? <laughs> right? Because your labels don't matter to me. What right. matters to me at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I'm the one who's sleeping on my bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The thoughts that are inside of my head is mine mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live my life. So right. why the fuck do I give a fuck about your right. labels? I should give a right, fuck right, right. about my self-concept, your, right. your self-identity, mm -hmm. and my self-labels, and mm -hmm. my self-judgment. Because mm -hmm. I know I'm my biggest enemy. Mm -hmm. Not you, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You don't live mm -hmm. Layak's life. Mm -hmm. right? right? Like They don't live Akeem's life. Right, right, it's right. not for me to give mm -hmm. a fuck about you. Right. It's for you to give a fuck about mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. and, and then... So, so, so how do you help... How do you help guys that maybe there is some guys out there that's like what you're saying, what oh, we're exist. saying right now. They're like, they they're like, damn, man. Listen, like, and wait. they're like, damn, I, I do feel this inside sometimes. Like, yep. how do I make myself yep. better? What advice do you Listen, give to them? I know who they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen here. There's a big fear in our society. You will gain admirers, but mostly secret admirers. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of men out there are secretly admiring me, mm -hmm. but they are too much of a pussy to say, to say it in front of my face. Because of all the heat that they're going to fucking get. Because yeah. of all the heat that they're going to fucking get. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, what? Like, uh, you like Layak? Mm -hmm. I remember one time Layak did this. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? You, you, you like Layak? Mm -hmm. Same thing with you, right? Yeah, yeah, You're like, oh, course, you like Akeem? Course, you know course. what? There was just one time when Akeem did this. Uh -huh. Oh, blah, 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 uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. and then, but the thing is, bro, mm -hmm. you got silent admirers. Right, which is a funny thing too, because like another, another thing about this, mm -hmm. you're on in Instagram, you're too much of a pussy to interact on a post because <laughs> your other fucking mutual friends are gonna mm -hmm. see this motherfucker mm -hmm. interacted on it. Of course, bro, it's your phone, it's your Instagram account. Why the mm -hmm. fuck? Like the fucking post, and, and you comment know, on the you fucking post. You know what's crazy about people what? like that is. I've like, literally had people tell me sometimes, like, "Oh yeah, bro, I saw your post and they didn't uh, interact that, with it." And I was like, oh, because I didn't even notice you saw it because you didn't like it. Yeah, exactly. And you didn't comment. I was like, oh, did you? That's crazy. Imagine, like You're imagine telling me in my that, inbox bro. that you just saw something really good that I've done. Yeah. And instead of giving me a reaction, giving me a comment, you're like, oh, yeah, bro. I, yeah, I saw your post. And uh, I thought that was... Listen. So like, stuff like, like that bro, to me is pretty like, like, listen. If I, like, if I don't like this photo, you're going to pay my bills? <laughs> if I don't share this post, you're going to take care of my family and children? <laughs> If I don't leave a fucking comment, you're like, what are you going to do? How are you going to change my life by me not doing this? At all. 
it's like <laughs> nothing's gonna change by you supporting by you yeah. not being fake because you know like there's a lot of people that that's just on your profile exactly. just to be on there they have no business on your profile but they're just there no just silent. because it's either silent admirers or uh-huh. like silent fucking haters, haters waiting for your that waiting for your yeah, exactly. Exactly. There you go. You know it, my brother. Exactly. This is how it is. Exactly. Like you know, I said, so. like, th- listen, you can't expect mm. an extraordinary life and mm. an extraordinary physique, extraordinary mindset, mm. extraordinary success, genuine connections mm. without having extraordinary polar polar, polar opposite mm. of that. Right. Which is like extreme hate, extreme mm. envy. Of course. Fuck of course. you. Of course. Like, of like course. I hate you. Like, dude, mm-hmm. literally, I've got it. Yeah. Just, like, dude, there'll People be like People think something. having haters is a bad thing. It is. Like, dude, listen, if... Pe- people dude, think, like, people that that hate on your success and don't want to see, see, uh, see you succeed is a bad thing. I think those people are people that really support you, supports you the most. Because they're the ones that eventually, because they're silent right now, but the bigger you get, guess what they're going to do? They're going to yeah. try to figure out something. When they cannot how deny, they, when, yeah, yeah. when, when you got it so how, good, how they, they can cannot deny like, it anymore. You, they're going to be like, how can I bring this person down? Like, ooh, like, I know yeah. what to do. Let me go share some of his old shit. Yeah. And he goes, oh, this is who he was before like, the fame. Oh, uh, t- 12 years ago, <laughs> oh, like, this, he, made a, he made a is comment on a post. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm like, what? Isn't this the guy that, yeah, they'll do some shit like that. <laughs> like, I remember yeah. when he was 14 years old, mm-hmm. like, around high school. Like, dude, what, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, okay. <laughs> You still living in my past. Yeah. I've been out my past for fifteen years now. Exactly. Ten years now. Five years now. You're still living oh, yeah. in my past. And but and because you want you want an easy come up now. And I tell you something, right? Mm-hmm. It's again, it's about a sacrifice. You really think if you want, right, like new levels of mm-hmm. life, you're not gonna have to sacrifice your relationships and your mm-hmm. old communities. Oh, that's so important. Right? So coming back to sacrifice. Coming back to sacrifice. Mm-hmm. You really think because Listen, once you start to change, mm-hmm. right, people are going to have a hard time to accept your new identity oh, sure. and who you are becoming. Because in order for them to accept it, they don't want to change. They must level up themselves mm-hmm. so that they can understand you. If, Completely. But unfortunately, Completely. unfortunately, mm-hmm. instead of like elevating themselves to understand you, mm-hmm. They just gonna bring you down yep. so that they are able to understand you yep. again. So mm-hmm. they don't have to do any effort. Right. Which one is easier? And, and if they right? can't bring you down, they're gonna get with people who's already down exactly. on their level and they're gonna talk about it. But you. then here's the thing. <laughs> because I want you to focus on the divine energy mm-hmm. like God and the positivity, mm-hmm. right? The only reason that you and I are even in here, mm-hmm. because we are functioning on a higher level kind of frequency mm-hmm. and a higher level of identity. Because like right. attracts like. Mm-hmm. Right, you know, like they're, they're sitting with a magnet, like oh, like uh, like opposites actually attract. Right? Oh yeah, but dude, tr- trust me, trust me, a, I would have. Try being I a positive person with a negative. Yeah, yeah, like dude, <laughs> try imagine that. Relationship that. Out. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I'm Mister Positive and and Akeem is like, well, like life is not easy. It's just life not ain't easy. Uh, like, 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 like well, my life ain't well, you're just, as easy you're as just that me. you're saying. <laughs> You're just, like, I don't you're know just what you're making it about. simple. It's not life. Is not, it's not. Uh, it's not that complex. simple. Like no. Complex. Like when when it's hard, it's like, really hard, and there's nothing. And then, I can and, do then and then there's my favorite. People would say they're like, like, you just don't understand me. You don't understand me. You know, you don't get my situation. Listen here, motherfucker. Okay, how are you so egotistic to mm. think of that? You think that humanity do not understand pain and right. do not understand suffering? Right. We do. Mm. So. Trust me, we understand your pain and we understand your suffering. And for you mm-hmm. to sit there and say, you just don't get me. Oh, is that your, is that so? You're special, huh? <laughs> Mr. Mrs. Special Victim. You know? Like, your suffering and, and your problem. pain the is victim, just totally different. The victim different. mentality. Exactly. That's the problem right there. The and we're cutting it off. mentality. <laughs> uh, and, and, and just to continue, like, yeah. well, because we're going to continue uh-huh. to rebuttal on that. Like, victim mentality. So many people have it, you know? And they run with it and they take that in... In their life, everywhere, every single year of their life, they take that victim mentality. Oh, the reason why I can't do what I have to do because, oh, this happened to me in the past. This happened to me in the past. Oh, we've been struggling for years. Oh, the econ- economy is not getting better. Oh, the- fuck that shit. <laughs> Fix it, motherfucker. No, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong. If you want some shit in life, go out there and go get it. 
there's all this negativity, but like as you made sacrifices in life, and you're gonna attract the polar opposite, which is like the negativity. Mm. But you're also gonna attract the positivity, mm. right? Because all of a sudden, Akeem, like the only reason that me and you is in here is because like we are functioning on the same identity, and I'm building genuine bonds and brotherhood. Right. 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 On on other parts, like I have friends here in the USA and also in Canada, mm. where like we genuinely give a fuck with one another mm -hmm. and it's it's a very masculine brotherhood where mm -hmm. like we're not trying to sneak each other right right and and we just help each other grow right right right, right. and that's like other true like elevate, like combat combat fighting mm -hmm. finances mm -hmm. right like mentality yeah because you need brothers like that of course of course right and of course and trust me like a, dude, a, a circle like, of brothers like that should be very important and bro like like trust me whatever mm -hmm. it is like like uh, you used to have a click and then they don't like you anymore you're gonna be welcome to a new clique. Mm. Trust me. Trust me on that. That girl doesn't appreciate you for what kind of a man you are. Trust me. Another woman will appreciate you mm. and will value you as a man. Mm. Right? It's the same thing it's with, with your brothers, everything. Of course. Okay. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah, man. And um, yeah, and that's a very important topic, you know, So uh, because uh, I feel like people don't understand that too much of how important loyalty, respect, and love is when it comes to your to your brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, And I'm not just talking about your blood brothers and everything like that, but the guys that's genu genuinely, genuinely around you, showing you love, respect, mm -hmm. that's helping you grow, shape yourself, shape your future, that's mm -hmm. supporting the things that you're and doing not just in life, talk. you know what I'm saying? Not right. just all right, that's not no bullshitters. Like there. There's yeah. a lot of bullshitters in this world. There's a lot mm -hmm. of bullshitters in your circle. There's a lot of bullshitters around your environment, period. You just got to know how to separate those people yeah. from the genuine ones, you know? And you would know because yeah. if you're a bullshitter, guess what you're going to be around? A bunch of bullshitters. Yeah. So if you're a real genuine yeah. guy, guess what you're going to attract and be having yeah. your circle? Real genuine guys. Exactly. Like, and I'd um, rather I have like three guys that got that kind of mindset. Bro, like we keep it real. Over than like ten guys. Because nobody, who just like, dude, to, like, like know, a lot of people don't around. notice when you're around with this kind of brotherhood. Mm -hmm. You ever have that feeling, like, dude, we can take over a country right now. Oh, for Fuck sure. Fuck the consequences, <laughs> for right? Sure. Cause, cause, like, you're, you're with your boys. <laughs> Right, you're like, you're, dude, we're we're going like, to bro, jail. Bro, we, like, dude, dude, it's like we're going to jail, Kim. We're, we're going, going to jail. Oh, we go together, right? You don't feel me? <laughs> nah, right? for sure, for sure. But no, and, but and, but no, they want to keep you segregated. And, and you know, you know what though? Like, That's what makes me admire the Tate brothers so much because, uh -huh. like, even like me having brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, I envy their relationship because mm -hmm. they go to jail together, they fight together, they and stand Tristan, together. No, right, Tristan, right? Doesn't right. even want to go yeah. to jail. They're like, right. oh, oh. You, you're letting me out. Yeah, right, right, right. But my right. brother's like, brother still there. Put me, put me no, back put me in. back in. Yeah, I was like, dude, you know I'm like, 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 bro, possible. like real talk, and that's got, and, like, and that's and that's that brother dude. brotherly love. That's that that's that genuineness I'm exactly. talking about about men especially you know what i'm saying because you you know like not not to speak on women and everything like that because you know i'm not a woman so i don't know how women mentality is but as you can see there's there, the loyalty really honestly like when it comes to a woman's circle and a men's circle let's it's be different. real it's, it's different, different. It's different. <laughs> you go to a woman's circle everybody Plus, talk about each other <laughs> listen listen when it comes to women and it's everybody. a lot of when it comes to women it's a lot of reputational distraction mm -hmm. right like like they try to get close with another relationship so they can fuck over over that person right like, shit yeah. like that for men it's different like for, for men it's different and you know what right. and if you have men around you that's like that that yeah. act like they're in a women's circle bro get rid of them yeah like uh, get rid of them they if got those phantom like that the phantom <laughs> pussy the any phantom man pussy. right any man that come around you and like they're gossiping about the people that you you guys all hang with every day uh -huh. and like they, they come in your say you're like oh yeah this guy yeah see this guy's like this and oh i never really i'm like dude we were the just Phantom all together, Pussy, like, just yesterday, and you're sitting here talking yeah. about this guy to me. Like, how do you think that made me feel as a man? Yeah. I just <laughs> listening to you made me feel like a, a, you know, like, what the fuck? And I was like, like, bro, like, like sometimes dude, I ignore you people because I don't want to hear that The worst shit, bro. fucking mate that you mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. is that all of the boys know you're going to shit, <laughs> and that motherfucker said, I'm just scared. Oh, no. Like, dude, I, I just, I don't know, man. Yeah. Like, I'm just a little bit afraid. We know, because we are all into shit, and you fucking right. say it out and loud. You, right. Now yeah. we're fucked. And you're the one that admitted now it. Now we're fucked. Now, nobody can say, like, in their yeah. head. Nobody can be like, I'm, no. I, I kind of don't like this No, shit. like, 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 this, you know, this I'm going to do this shit anyways. Like, right. you know, like, like, this, this right. a brother. But we're going to get like, through this shit anyways. Yeah, exactly. You had to admit it out loud. Now, everybody's, ah, 
fuck. So, so now it's like, fuck. Like, you were like, damn, he kind of right. Trust, <laughs> trust me, right? It's it's also the same thing, too. Like, Man. another another call back to your voice over there. Because, like, listen, like, I talk shit, like, mm-hmm. and I'm genuine and authentic to, like, all the genders out there, right? So right. now it's another thing. Trust me, bro. Whoever you are, if you're going out with your homies or, like, we're meeting up or you're meeting out with your homies, whatever it is, if there's plans ahead, and then you texted me or you call me and say, um, oh, my girl doesn't allow me, or like my girl is like, oh, we, we gotta me. go with this girl. You know what everybody thinks about you, but won't say it in front of your face? <laughs> You're a pussy. <laughs> You're a pussy. Everybody thinks about it. Straight up. It's and straight you, up. And you have to get out the circle at that point. It's straight up. Straight up. Bro. Straight up you know what I'm like, saying? We'll like, we'll never say it. Like, like let's, let's be real. Bro. You can respect your woman, right? Respect yeah. your woman as much as possible, bro. But the minute your woman allows you to not be a man, bro, mm-hmm. a, allows you to not do the things that you know deep down in your heart you genuinely mm-hmm. want to do and, like, you want to go out there and, like, bro, I'm a man. Like, just because I'm with you doesn't mean, like, I can't be with my guys. I can't go here, here, and there. If you're doing it every day constantly, okay, I understand why a woman should be worried. But if your woman stop you from being a man in any day of your life, bro, if you come home every, every day and your woman's nagging at, at you and you can't do you nothing about that. it. You don't need that shit. Bro, Akeem, just, just Akeem, give it up. You, you just worked 12 hours. You, you had one meal. Right. You, like, you came back home. You came back home. And all you got to do is like, like, hey, that. You haven't texted me, Akeem. Like, uh, like what are you doing the out there? You were gone. You, you smell. I'm you, working you, you, like, you, you smell cigarettes or like you smell colognes. Like, what is this? Right, like, right, like right. you just don't appreciate me, Akeem. Yeah. Like, no, like, that's the like, last thing I'm you like, need. The fuck are you talking about? Like, like, like I'm listen. literally tired. <laughs> You know, I'm tired, <laughs> I'm hungry, and I really had to come. Like, what the fuck were you doing all day? No, dude, I, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but listen, okay? I travel around, right? I talk to multiple <laughs> clients. I have to handle people's money, right? Like, like I make genuine connections and everything. And sometimes I would literally go out for 14 hours with fucking no meal. The last thing that I need is like when I open my Airbnb or the place that I'm renting, and I'm with a girl to say... Why didn't you send message yet, Akeem? Why, like, why, why, why didn't you text me all day? Like, why, why didn't you text me all day? Why, why haven't like, you? Like, so, so, oh, oh, so, so, so you took 30 minutes to eat food, huh? You didn't, you didn't, like, you didn't bother Like, for one, that? and Dude. I know there's not, like, every woman out there isn't like that, right? And I no. know that, and I know that yeah, for I a know fact. That for a fact, yeah. But there's so much women out there like that. You uh-huh. have to, you think to yourself, like, dude, like, and, and, and you know what's so quick? Uh, what, what, what those women are quick to say? Oh, you'll never find another woman like me. Oh, I will. <laughs> trust, trust me, love. I'm I will. Like, it's so easy to replace a woman like you. You have no freaking idea. Yeah, it's not even like. the replacement, right? It's not even a replacement out there. Because mm. trust me, there's genuine good girls out there, but they're just hard to get. Mm. And the really mm. good ones, Akeem, mm. dude. You gotta go talk to the family. You gotta yeah. go. You gotta go like. <laughs> no, sure. You gotta go with a traditional sure. route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like so, before you can even approach yeah. their name. And you like, know what that tells me? Yeah. The, or what it should tell you about yourself? What type of man are you? Exactly. What type of man are you? If you, you? keep getting bitches right. that are like doesn't give a fuck about, <laughs> about you, you and doesn't appreciate that, you, Akeem, guess what up. you are, Akeem. You might as well be her. Yeah, you might as well like fa- the phantom pussy, you right? Because like a lot of girls out there got the phantom dick, where like they want to be a man, and then a lot of guys out there got the phantom pussy too, mm-hmm. right? Where they're like they're just like acting like a bitch. You're you're literally her. You might as well be her. Yeah, you might as you well. You know what I'm saying? Bro. You might as well just be two wives, yeah. two women in a relationship. You know, straight and, up. And, 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 yeah. and you know what's so crazy? Because what? like it really goes back to like what kind of women don't like a man to be a man. Exactly. What and the, again, what type and of again, women are, it's that are, fear. You know? It's that fear. Trust me, girls <laughs> love it. Because girls, like, they can turn their brain off, right? The only time that the girls won't like it, if she's so emotionally fucked up that she doesn't recognize mm-hmm. that, like, like the difference between yeah. a real man or a, or a if, fuck boy. If, like, a girl is, like, genuinely fucked up in her mm-hmm. head, doesn't appreciate you as a man, and taking your, like, your intentions of like of like of like like a uh, provision, mm-hmm. right? Your intentions are good man of provision, of appreciation and validation and protection. Mm-hmm. Homie, you're killing your soul deep down every single, every single day. day. You're giving so the, much of yourself the, the best and thing that you can do woman is leave would that, alone. L- that woman would fucking spit it back on you. 
Straight up. All of that love, all of that appreciation you're mm-hmm. giving her, all that validation, protection, and provision, mm-hmm. and then she doesn't appreciate your sacrifices mm-hmm. yep. as a mm-hmm. fucking mm-hmm. man, you're killing yep. your fucking 100%. self. 100%. Right? Any woman that cannot realize the your like you said your sacrifices that you make as a man mm-hmm. any woman that that sits there in your face and tell you like oh what have you ever really done for me oh, and you know i keep <laughs> the worst and thing you the worst know. thing wait listen ready mm-hmm. ready i didn't ask you for any of that mm-hmm. <laughs> and that's the worst thing of it all i i didn't i, I didn't ask I didn't you anything you for any that. that so what the fuck am i here for mm-hmm. then like why am i here <laughs> Why did yeah. you get with me and stay with me for so long? Mm-hmm. If everything I've ever done as a man, you just looked at it and just threw it out mm-hmm. the window. And that's another thing, though. Okay, guys. All mm. right. Basic basic psychological like uh, education in here. Mm. All right. Men or women are different. Mm. What? Wait, what? Oh, I keep, yeah. I keep. Mm-hmm. Like, can you believe this? I keep. Mm-hmm. I cannot believe I'm saying this. Men and women are different. <laughs> what? So you're telling me that, that 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 in some cases in life men are really good at something but bad and, at something uh-huh. and then women, women are very are good, good at something and bad and at bad something. At. What say, what mm. what wow? Like what like, is what? All right. So so like the reason I'm making that point so, is that because like we, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to since be. Since birth. Like I, since I did, mankind was made. Like really, I I really <laughs> I really thought like like this is not the case. Because like you know. Yeah. Because like you tell me there's like a hundred five different fucking genders and then it's fluid. Right. <laughs> Because, because where did we go so wrong yeah. that y'all just like men and women have to be equal? Yeah, no. Dude, Why? Listen, listen here, bro. You will have your daughter with you. You know what? That's wait, a genuine wait, 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 question. Listen, listen, That's a real question. Wait, wait, okay, like, listen, I really, I'm really okay, concerned question, about. Question, Akeem. You have your daughter, right? Her name mm-hmm. is Kylie, mm-hmm. right? She, she's a lovely girl, like five years old, mm-hmm. right? You have to mm-hmm. deliver to a babysitter, mm-hmm. but the babysitter establishment, all men. Mm-hmm. Bro, mm. you gotta fucking back that like car that. up. You gotta <laughs> fucking back that car up. All male. I wouldn't like that. All male, like all, all male so, babysitters. Nah, so, so you nah, know what we're that's telling me right there. So like, you know what that's telling me? So, what? Women knows this yeah. that 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 would be wrong. Yep. Any mother would tell you they yeah. wouldn't that. And trust me, they ain't okay with that. The best, the best protectors so, out there so are why, mothers. Right. But when it comes to their babies, right, bro, mm-hmm. they get feral. So they why? Feral. So why are they okay with? All this, you know, men and women needs to have needs to be equal. Needs it's to, all a why, social why is it only okay when they want it to be okay? It's all a social programming, right? And then they prevent you from speaking up mm-hmm. because you're genuinely going to be mm-hmm. shamed. You're mm-hmm. genuinely going to be guilt. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be outcasted, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. They're gonna make you feel fearful mm-hmm. of losing and, love. And then you know what, too? There's a lot of men that support in that. Wow. Well, that's because there are the weak people of mm. men. Because if you have, mm. if you are a man that is like a community builder and you genuinely give a fuck about your community, mm-hmm. you give a fuck about your family, mm. you give a fuck about the people that mm. you love and that you care about, you're building a legacy, mm. you know mm. this is fucking wrong. But mm. guess what? It's that phantom pussy, bro. Mm. And, and how that, do you explain men of power... Who's in great position that allow the society in the world to think this thing, the things that they're doing and the stuff that it's they're allowing is okay. It's just not worked it. But like the thing is, you got to recognize something like, Akeem, what is mm-hmm. power? People think that power is just money. Mm-hmm. People think that power is just influence. Mm-hmm. People think it's like, no. Power is when the, you are the full fucking man. Coming mm-hmm. full package. Mm-hmm. You got money. You got power, mm-hmm. you got status, you got you influence. Respect, you, have influence. You, got, you got everything. Mm-hmm. That's real power. Mm-hmm. What you people? You take care of your family. Yeah, exactly. Everything. Straight up. You're like a full thing. You're like mm-hmm. a full package. People mm-hmm. like to separate things, mm-hmm. right? Where they say mm-hmm. this about these things. They're mm-hmm. like, they're mm-hmm. like, oh, powerful people are evil because they just all have money. No, mm-hmm. dude. Like, like it's mm-hmm. just a person with money. Or, or it's all not they a, want it's is not power. a powerful person. It's not a powerful person. <laughs> it's just a person with money. Mm-hmm. Right mm-hmm. or like or like this motherfucker's powerful because he got a good buddy. No, mm-hmm. brother, mm-hmm. it's just a person with a good buddy. Mm-hmm. Okay, like it's everything, right? And here's the thing, though, mm-hmm. most people will have this like substrata. So 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 it's like they gotta have like sub parts of power. Mm-hmm. What is that? What is the sub parts of power? Mm-hmm. Money, looks, 
competency, yeah. right? But it's not like the overall. The They're overall, just like uh-huh. the base foundation. Yeah, the base, yeah, yeah base exactly, of right? It's a part of it. Power mm-hmm. is just not money. Mm-hmm. Power is just not influence. Power mm-hmm. is just not, not about mm-hmm. the looks. Mm-hmm. It's like it's a full package. Mm-hmm. And guess mm-hmm. what? If you don't have the full package, mm-hmm. you don't have courage mm-hmm. and you don't have boldness. Right. So why the fuck you would speak up? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is oh. what mostly happens. Makes a lot and of sense. If, if y'all didn't catch on to what he just said, mm-hmm. rewind this and really listen mm-hmm. to like, what he like just said. Because he made a va- yeah, he made a valid point. Mm-hmm. Like you may have the basic pack, you you know the basic structure, the basic pack of what it takes for you to be a powerful man, right? Of and and since you you're only at that basic state and you only have this basic package, you don't have the full package. Mm-hmm. Why you don't you, have the books. right? Why would you speak up on something that really matters in a community of power? And, and and standards and where you could your voice will matter and you will actually have some type of influence. Mm-hmm. You're not because you don't you you don't have that confidence. So like all of these things, right? Again, like I I forgot his name. He's like a YouTuber. He's like a psychologist. I forgot. Oh, mm-hmm. sci hacks or whatever. Like I I think that's what it is. Mm-hmm. There's only really two things mm-hmm. for you to be a man. Mm-hmm. You need a backbone and you need a fucking balls. Right. Backbone <laughs> is your principles. <laughs> And, and you, would think, you would think we already have them. Right, right. And, and we already have them, uh, but you're not fucking using it. You're not fucking using it. That far. Right. Okay, but, 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 but here, let me say, right? Backbone, mm-hmm. your principles, your self-beliefs, your mm-hmm. integrity, your mm-hmm. character. You won't bend this shit. Mm-hmm. Your balls, trust me, mm-hmm. brother. The mm-hmm. taller you fucking stand, mm-hmm. right? As the sun mm-hmm. rises, the right. taller your fucking shadow looms. Right. So trust me, if you got those fucking principles and that integrity, mm-hmm. you better have the fucking balls to back, back up those beliefs. Because <laughs> they, people are going to challenge those beliefs. Mm-hmm. People are going to challenge about that everything. Mm-hmm. And guess what they are going to challenge? They're going to challenge everything about you. And they're going to sure. challenge the people that you because love and you care about. That part. And, and also yeah. remember, when you're at a certain status and a certain, you reach mm-hmm. a certain level, there will be people out there and here's the that thing. will come for you. I just want to say this. Mm-hmm. Why do girls like bad boys? Why do mm-hmm. girls like assholes? Because mm-hmm. in a world of fucking madness, the assholes and the bad boys are the only ones who got the fucking balls, balls. to it's say hard. no. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Right? right. But the thing is, I said, like, obviously, because they're dickheads and they're assholes, you're going to have bad experience. But for you as a woman, you're like, oh, at the very least, he got the fucking balls to say to it. Say, right. Right? Like, right. at the fucking least. But the right. thing is, he's not a full package right, right, right. because he only got right. a sub right. part of power. Right. And why do you he's think women package? that talk a lot of shit, right, and, and to, to, their, to certain men, like, right, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to leave, I'm going to leave, blah, 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 and they, they're still there. They because never go deep nowhere. down, that's their comfort zone. <laughs> Straight up. Deep down, Straight they up. like the conflict. Straight they like up. the fucking they, drama. They, they, right? Because right? deep down, deep down, like they fantasize mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. Prince Charming. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Or like this fucking mafia boss. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's why like, what do you think? Like 60 Shades of Grey got fucking four parts in the movies mm-hmm. and they keep solding out. Right. What the fuck is that shit? Because people love that and, shit. And then, let's talk about this. <laughs> hey, shout out to the fucking like right. dark romance girls. I know I know your girls exist right. over there, the dark romance right. girls. I've seen it. I've seen that shit. That shit, that shit is porn for the female. Okay? <laughs> Clip this. Akeem, Akeem, I'm telling you right now, we got porns for men, for women, when it comes to porn, it's the stories, right? You know what I'm saying? It's, I know, it's, 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 I know the game. Addicted. I know the game. So, Mm -hmm. so dude, like, Mm -hmm. as I was just saying, like, Mm -hmm. uh, like, dude, they like those roller coasters. And then, they like the thrill. Deep down, too. Straight up. Let's be honest here. Because, like, I understand a woman, right? Yeah. And you have to be able to understand a woman. Listen, it's like deep down, Mm -hmm. they don't feel that they deserve to be loved. Because imagine this. Mm -hmm. I look and I've experienced this. Certain certain women, though. Certain women. What? Or is that all women? Certain women. They feel like they don't they don't deserve to be most loved. women. Most women. Okay. Right? So like I would say ninety five percent even. Yeah. Because like Why the five, is that? Because you know they're gonna have a lot of people out there that's gonna be. I don't because know, the five percent, the five percent uh-huh. are mm-hmm. like the traditional men mm-hmm. who got the full package of power mm-hmm. and got the tradition. Mm-hmm. And trust me, so for you people that say mm-hmm. that like, oh, he's a she's a total fucking ten, mm-hmm. bro, you'll never meet a fucking ten over here. Mm-hmm. You're gonna meet tens mm-hmm. over at fucking Dubai with traditional fucking families, mm-hmm. or like mm-hmm. those like Indian families. You don't even know they're like total smoke shows, mm-hmm. but you don't get to fucking touch them until you. Mm-hmm. Talk to the father and proving right. your fucking word to the family, and then maybe you can shake hands her fucking daughter. And that's and that's, maybe. and that's so important because 
a lot of men, that is a, 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 a lot of men on this side, they uh-huh. look at these women like, oh, cause like, oh, she's so a ten. You. Oh, oh, she's a, a oh, she's a baddie. Oh, she's a baddie <laughs> with no value. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's no like, value, absolute yeah. no value. And then, what is your value as a woman? Trust you know? me. What, what do we value as men? Peace. Mm. We value peace. Mm. And that no matter what, Structure. you got our back. We don't care about your diploma. <laughs> we don't care about how much money you make. We don't care like how, how like like. We don't care if you're boss babes. We don't care. What we care for you is that we look at you one day. You're gonna be the future mother of my children, mm-hmm. right? And for those men mm-hmm. that don't want to have a family, mm-hmm. I'm gonna call you out. All right. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting hate comments. You lost your fucking soul. Your Straight bloodline up. will fucking die. Straight from up. you Any because that because don't want to have kids and feel like oh oh yeah no i uh, actually you know I, i'm i'm really concerned about you as I'm, a man i'm Straight fucking up. concerned about you 100%. because tell me tell me family is beautiful mm-hmm. children and future generations is beautiful future community community is beautiful mm-hmm. listen Maybe right now because you're having so much fun. You're having 20, like you're 25 years old or whatever. Mm -hmm. Trust me, for all these women out there too. For all these women out there too, right? You're having so much fun because you got, listen, if you're a hot 18 years old, as soon, like any woman out there, as soon as you get tits and ass, every single man wants a piece of that. So obviously you're going to, you're going to feel so powerful. Mm -hmm. But once you're 50, and you see your so-called girlfriends say having. I'll say 40 sure. if, you're not, if you don't mm-hmm. <laughs> And And yeah. listen, we are from Vegas. How many miserable, lonely fucking women that are getting wasted, literally mm-hmm. wasted, smoking cigarettes, just drinking alcohol the by themselves. You haven't you traveled the, the world and you haven't seen it. Here, over here, there's a lot of them that are like old women that are just mm-hmm. drunk all the time, walking all by the themselves, empty, soulless, mm-hmm. full of darkness and fucking mm. void because you know what happens once you're 50 years old 40 years old you see your other girlies your girlfriends that you used to go to festivals with with parties with have a genuine fucking family being a good mother a husband and a wife they build their nest because woman nest let's think about this women dude when it comes to photos decorations nesting design dude i don't question them you think those curtains are beautiful Fuck it. I trust your feminine expertise. If those curtains are beautiful, those curtains are beautiful. Like, like, okay, but listen, as you see your girlfriends having that community, having that happy family lifestyle, right? Raising children, right? And then they have this genuine fucking smile when you see them. It's fucking, it's going to fucking kill you because you're 40 and you're 50 and you are nowhere close of having a family and a man and a community. Mm. And you can cope all you want. Right. You can cope all you right. want. Oh, yeah. I still hang out with my uh-huh. girls. We talk now and then, mm-hmm. you know. It's still love. Cope all you want. But mm-hmm. I know at late night, mm-hmm. those tears, those goes, tears, sister. Goes, goes falling down. Those sis- sister. And let's you can not make lie. whatever excuse you want. Let's not lie. Right? You can let's make, not lie. You can make whatever excuse you want for mm-hmm. the way that you're living. But deep down, like, if you're keeping down. it real with yourself, mm-hmm. you hate the way you're living. Exactly. 100%. You hate it and you know it. And mm-hmm. you knew back then somebody told you you need to, you need to grow up to be a, a, a better woman. That you need to have a family one day. You need to be someone's prize. And you failed at that. I've seen it happen. And, 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 and so you know what you do? Mm-hmm. You get it, you you put yourself in the shell, you be like, Oh, I don't need a man for nothing. Oh, I don't care what nobody say. I'm beautiful, I'm happy, oh I'm living my best life. That's what y'all love to say. I'm living my best life. Oh, I'm a mm-hmm. boss babe. I'm making my own money. But at 40, 50 year, years yeah. old, you're a drunk. Mm-hmm. You're out here in Vegas, either cheating on your boyfriend, yep. not Welcome even married. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. You know Vegas. what I'm saying? I'm just saying, are you going to, you know, going wherever you at, getting fucked up so wasted that you come home, falling all over the place? Your your kids, if they're still living with you at the time, they're seeing they're seeing how you are. They see the people around you are seeing how you living, and everybody despise you, and they look down on you, mm-hmm. and they're like, damn. And I thought Akeem, that person was going to be Akeem, something Akeem, like. the worst is not only those people think about you, mm-hmm. because what you really give a fuck is that you despise your fucking self. So you have that and that's per- the most important part. perpetual fucking dark mm-hmm. hole of voidness mm-hmm. and emptiness 
deep within you eating your soul. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something beautiful, mm-hmm. right? Because you are part of the culture. I, I know your culture, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, African, African-American, African black mm-hmm. people, right? Mm-hmm. Filipino people. Of course. Family is important to us. Of family, course. Family gatherings is like, it's and not, it's, it's like a walk, it's like a walk in the park. Oh, typical, mm-hmm. typical monthly family gatherings. Mm-hmm. But for you guys, it's like, whoa, this, this fucking rare, bro. I, I mm-hmm. can't see like, mm-hmm. we're like, we're, we would literally be in rooms, a king, right? Mm-hmm. And then there's like 45 people. Mm-hmm. They're like in the bloodline yeah. that you've never met before. It's like, oh, right, pleasure right. to meet. I guess you're part of the family, huh? <laughs> right. And let me tell you something beautiful, because like I realized this, right? Mm. Is that is that when you're when we were in this family gathering, Sakim, mm. you look at your grandmother, mm. right? And back then she is a good woman, because back then you got good women teaching other women how to mm. be a good, good woman. woman. Let's talk Straight about up. this. Your single ass miserable girlfriends are keeping mm. you single because they're too jealous that you mm. finally mm-hmm. capture a good, good. man's Straight attention. All right? Up. Misery loves company. Straight so think about up. it. And for you mm-hmm. girls out there, if you keep hanging out with those hoes on those bitches, mm-hmm. we as men look at the group mm-hmm. and see, well, I'm not going to spend all of this time and effort birds, trying to separate which one further. is not the hoe <laughs> and which one is the wifey no you're all hoes in our you're all hoes like dude like i see like four girls like you got three girlfriends that are hoes dude nah game over you're a hoe too sorry girl like that's your party Birds right of a feather flock together dude, exactly straight up. okay and for you women out there mm-hmm. who know you have a good man at home and you're sitting here taking advice from your girlfriends homegirl your single <laughs> ass the people that party all the time yeah. and you know you're mm-hmm. a structured person you're trying to be oh girl don't do that to him i feel bad for you mm-hmm. i feel oh, bad for you oh girl no no he's 100%. too much and don't oh, get girl, it twisted no. there's some men out here that act like women mm-hmm. so there's men out here that has no life mm-hmm. there's men out here that's that look at other men and in this you know mm-hmm. they're, they 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 look at their life and be like damn i'm not shit you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's so just what you it. and they accept it. And they there accept it and they become 40, 50 years old and they ain't shit at that age. They ain't shit. Straight Brother, up. Brother, trust me, Have they say that for their life. they say that that it's never too late as long as they're living, but if you're 50 and you still don't got your shit together, it's fucking too late. Too Live late. your life, but wish like wish you all the blessings, wish you all the mm-hmm. positivity out there in the world, but, but, but recognize twisted, though. Yeah. If you're chasing a dream and you're chasing a business and you're chasing a goal and you're trying and trying and trying and you're 50, don't get it twisted. It's not too late. But if you really out here and you're not shit and you ain't never been shit and you never try you wasn't trying to be shit, <laughs> your whole you life <laughs> it's a wrap, man. Yeah. Just wrap it up. And then and then let's Straight wrap up. it up with this because I want to finish that. When yeah, we course, have this family gatherings, right, Akeem? Mm-hmm. You look at your grandma. Your grandma doesn't say back then, like, oh, yeah, look at all these music festivals that I did. You know how many vodka and tequila shots I did with my girl is? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, your grandma? Because I just look at my grandma and say, Holy fuck. Mm. We there's like forty people in this party mm. and all of these people came pretty much from, from grandma. Yeah. And this shit is fucking beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. This shit that's beautiful. We right? look at grandma and grandma is Man. fucking beautiful. We and, love grandma. And when you like, think about so what? many ungrateful fuck. fucking people there are who don't see life like that. They don't. Like it baffles me. Meanwhile, grandma w- wouldn't say like, "Oh yeah, like like back then in the sixties, Like no, that's not that's not what she's bragging about. Mm-hmm. Like oh yeah, look at my diploma back then. That part. Like it's, who it's, cares? This family, this community that she, came she from grandma. Community. This is right. the feminine integrity. This right. is the feminine power. Right. That is your power. Don't. And, and that's the thing too. Have grandmas back then lost their ways? So shout out to the grandmas out there, man, that understands, man, there you go. and that still being grandmas, grandma. You know what I'm grandma, best food, best food, best, best conversations. Best I love you. I love you, grandma. I love you. I love all of your. Right. I love all of your weird magic that, that that you do to make me better. I don't understand yeah. the weird magic. Yeah. I, I still love you, though, grandma. You're really looking but me up. But it's working. It's working. You're giving me prayers, grandma. G- grandma, I'm, I'm 24 years old, and you're still giving me lunch boxes. Even though right. 24 years old, I won't say no to lunch boxes, Grandma. Okay. Shout out to grandmas, man, because we don't shout them out enough. Straight up, oh, I know shout, we have, you know. Shout we, out to the mothers too that does that of too. Of course, of yeah, course. Shout out to the mothers too. I was gonna say, yeah, say shout out go. to moms because we, we yeah. know we shout the we we as real men we shout out we shout out the great moms, but we don't yeah. we don't shout out our great grandmas enough. But go. grandmas are so important. Grandmas they're the, are le- so they're important. the leaders of the freaking family tree. Mm-hmm. They're the reason why we are all. Think about it, like he just mm-hmm. said earlier. Like this. Grandma and grandpa made every single one of us that yeah. you see here right grandpa, now. Grandpa, grandpa's gonna make you be inspired mm-hmm. to become a better man. Straight but up. grandma, 
Mm-hmm. Always got your back, baby. And then it goes, it, it goes back got your to back. like, it goes back to like, where's the grandmas and the grandpas right now? That's just like kind of like not speaking out on this type of stuff that's happening within the world about it's, the masculinity. They just don't and care, the bro. They just like know? dude. They're like seventy right. and eighty. Like right. you know, they you live like, your life, <laughs> dude. I'm happy. Look at my family. Look at my but, look at my grandchildren. But you know what though? Right? I feel like their voice will matter so yeah. much if the, uh, a lot yeah. of them came out more and start speaking because yeah. I don't really see much of them like speaking out on stuff like. This. Uh-huh. So but actually in annoying. other families in other families especially mm-hmm. like uh, I would even say in like Spanish families you, mm-hmm. you, you're, you're going to say oh mija he's mm-hmm. going to leave you you don't cook for him mm-hmm. 100% <laughs> I I love, I my love, daughter's yeah. mom is Honduranian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Honduran. And like, that's exactly like, how it is. He's going to leave like, you. What you doing? Yeah, yeah, straight but up. Yeah, that's they, hard. They still, that's they hard. still apply those old yeah. old ways into yeah. this, you know? Yeah. And and yeah. I love it because that's just I just believe that's how that's how it yeah. should be. I believe as a man, you need to be working your ass off. You shouldn't be no fucking lazy bum as a man. You should be if you don't have a job, you better be having some type of fucking um uh, hustle. Straight listen, up. Listen, girls Straight don't give up. a fuck about that money. Girls don't give a fuck about that shit, okay? To a certain degree they give a fuck about looks because let's be honest here. <laughs> if, if if you're going to be with somebody <clears throat> like 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 if you're going to be with somebody we better make sure that at the very least we find each other pleasing right. to the eyes. Right. Pleasing to the eyes because we're right. going to keep seeing each Let's other. For the love of God, like, real. please, like, like, mm-hmm. like, please, if, if we're going to be together, like, presentable is important, right? Mm-hmm. You don't need to be a Victoria's Secret model. You don't need mm-hmm. to be a Calvin Klein underwear model. Mm-hmm. But at the very least, bro, like, don't be disgusting right. to look at. Like, ah. Let's be real. Right? And then, and, and, then, and then, wait, wait, let, let me just say this, right? Yeah, okay. go ahead. Like, mm-hmm. I was, like, like uh, we were talking about that, like, Man, like okay, like for men out there, women don't don't give a fuck about that money. Only the gold diggers, the mind broken women that's been like too deep, like you can't save them. As Jayco said, don't save this hoes, they don't want to be safe. All right, let them be hoes. All right. Shout out to J. Cole, right? Yeah. But, but, but anyway, right, dude, they don't care about that. Because what do women care about? Even though you're broke, mm. right? Your bank account is zero or you're full mm. of debt. But if you genuinely have there as a man that has a backbone mm. and you got the fucking balls, mm. they still gonna want you. They respect it. They, man. Respect, they respect that it. shit. They love it. And, and, and listen to me. Real. Listen to me. The women who don't, mm-hmm. it's all bullshit. Mm-hmm. And listen to this. And those are the cheaters. Listen to this. <laughs> Society is gonna tell you differently. Mm-hmm. Other women's gonna tell you differently. But trust me, when nobody's watching and it's just you and her, she really loves that shit. Straight up. Right? Because when you're just you and her, nobody's seeing it, nobody's judging it. Mm-hmm. Right? But and mm-hmm. also and then and then I, ju- I just want to say, mm-hmm. right? You need to get your shit together. Like like I said, yeah, like Akeem, did we talk shit about men? We sure did. Did we talk shit about women? We sure did. Did we talk and compliment and, and, and appreciate yeah, good right, men out there? That's what I was going to say. Don't uh-huh. get it twisted. Don't think this is a, a, mm-hmm. a, a, a bashing women or bashing weak men uh, mm-hmm. uh, podcast episode. This is literally just a genuine conversation that we're having with you guys to let you guys know our side, to let mm-hmm. you know how we feel as men, as real men, and just to let, let you know how the world mm-hmm. of real men actually look at you guys, look at society. It's not about bashing women. We love women. I oh, love we love women. women. I fucking love them. Like, you know, like, like I said... Uh, I would trust. You know? I would trust so, my little cousins mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. my future children to mm-hmm. women, because I know how feral they could mm-hmm, get when they course. really think that baby mm-hmm. is so cute mm-hmm. that they must do whatever it must to save mm-hmm. that baby. If there's even like, I've right. seen it. I've seen right. it all, bro. You don't mess with them. Yeah. When so it comes so to this is so this isn't uh you know us bashing uh women and us bashing weak men. This is for us to tell men that might be a little weak when it comes to their mentality, their uh their business, their mindset, and everything like that like hey wake up so, so, mm-hmm. the world is going life is life is going this is how the, the rest of the world is looking at you get it together you know what i'm saying straight up as men mm-hmm. we should not encourage weak men we should not encourage no man to be weak we should not be, encourage no man to just be yes men we should encourage men to be able to stand up to fight for what they believe in to be strong household leaders to be ahead of that you, you know what i'm saying straight up man mm-hmm. because like when you think about even uh, the other countries out here when you look at these other countries what do you see you see great great men and women great leaders we see mm-hmm. women who are structured women who are uh, obedient women who who will look at their husband and be like i don't care what the rest of the world is African I respect, president. Like I uh, remember the African yeah. president. Um, um, with, um, like um, remember African president. Like uh, um, f- like saying like fuck all of that gay shit. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's a fucking and, leader and, because he was like, he was like, look, he was like, bro. And, and, and no offense, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our words might be vague and very, you know, vulgar or whatever the case may be. No, off- vulgar, no, no offense, no offense. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, you, we we live in a society where we are surrounded by that type of um of uh, environment and people. You know what I'm saying? So just speaking for myself, it's no no offense, you mm-hmm. know, uh, uh, to to people like that, but. This also goes out to people that. What about us? Mm-hmm. What about straight yes. man who's out here, masculine man who mm-hmm. believes in that? Like, oh, it, am I? You know, like, yeah. do I not have a say and, in what and, I believe in? And let me just say this, okay? You know? All of you people out there, rather be clever than just be better. Shout out to Jason Lamar because he ended with, "That's why you are neither." You all rather be clever than just be better. That's why you are neither. Let me say this, okay? I don't talk like a fucking pussy. You know deep down what I'm trying to get across. Mm-hmm. You just choose to be offended and mm-hmm. to be sensitive mm-hmm. instead of focusing on the inner core message. Because mm-hmm. a lot of you guys out there and a lot of girls, they don't give a fuck about their message. They mm-hmm. give a fuck about what they feel with the message. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. okay, I don't talk like mm-hmm. a pussy. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I don't. I got a dick. Yep. Last time I checked, it's still there. <laughs> yeah. I still got balls. It's still hanging. <laughs> Right. You know, bendy so, to the so, left, bendy so to the left. So let men, <laughs> let men be men, let women right. be women, yeah. let whatever you want to be, yeah. be yourself, but don't take that away from, yeah. and from then, us. I just want to say, because the reason why that African, like, is a good leader, it's not that he hate, like, fucking gay dudes, or, like, gay, or, like, all that shit. Right. No. He just his reasoning, stand on think his, about this. <laughs> he's standing on his business. On his business. Yeah, but, but like, listen like, to this. Listen I to this. I mean that. Listen to this. You are a leader of a country. You're not a leader of like a 40 people uh, uh, right, you're a leader right, of a right, country, of country right. with traditions mm-hmm. with fucking family mm-hmm. with members mm-hmm. with children mm-hmm. and then you look at all the mess out there in the mm-hmm. west and then they come over here this is mm-hmm. our belief system mm-hmm. we don't care about all your culture right. type shit and you're you gonna have change. to change for us as a leader you better stand on fucking business right. that's why like weak right. men are not allowed mm-hmm. because only strong men mm-hmm. have the fucking backbone and the balls to defend yeah. that fucking backbone and, and imagine he would have did anything opposite than what he did how the 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 uh, you know how they would have looked at him the yeah. the opposing you know country they would have been like oh that yeah. was easy we're just using that as an example <laughs> and i want to finish that yeah. right listen here like like we talk shit to men we talk shit to women but then we gave appreciation and recognition of course, of course, to the good men out there and we give recognition mm-hmm. and actual mm-hmm. like appreciation Patient, to the course. good women out there we mm-hmm. mentioned that mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. mentioned that and a lot of let me just finish it. Yeah, a lot ahead. of a lot of you guys out there mm. i know listen young men genuinely have a genuine fucking problem because i've been there when you're a young man you want to form your identity and mm-hmm. then you want to go against the grain you want to speak mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. but you're fucking powerless bro because you're 14 you're 15 you're 16 right, right, you're right, powerless right. so yeah. your identity as a young guy is whatever the fucking tribe whatever <laughs> the is. fucking community <laughs> right that's right, your identity right, i get right, it right. but mm-hmm. that's why after once you go out to college that's mm-hmm. when like you get the experience on like how to form your own identity right i totally get it right mm-hmm. so i get you guys out there for the young guys but then you must recognize for the young guys or the adult man child, right? I call it. You got like you had an adult mm-hmm. buddy with a fucking brain of a child, experience of a child. You've never been punched in the face, <laughs> gin- fa- like, like, like you've like never had never to. Hit you the way you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like your biggest, your biggest impactful <laughs> emotional moment in your life mm-hmm. is like a girl rejected like in your me. Heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I'm gonna, and, and I'm, gonna I, I'm, like I'm gonna make this more. Motivational, heartbroken quotes. Yeah. Ooh. And, that, and that's the problem with a lot of men nowadays. Y'all haven't been through shit. Haven't Y'all finished. haven't been through nothing. You got it. Like, and and another thing. I came. I came. I came. But like, y'all, I'm just, like y'all been through so much. I came. I came. <laughs> I came. Well, I'm, I'm really trying to be better at socializing and like talking to people. I just don't know what to say because you ain't done shit. What would you say? What would you say? You ain't right, done shit, bro. Right. Like, you like have what's, no, what's you fun? Have no, you have no experience. You got. You have no quality about yourself. There's no you flavor. Have, there's, there's no, no flavor. There's no taste. There's no taste. There's 
There's no seasoning. Salt and pepper is not seasoning. Okay, you need more than salt and pepper, baby. Straight All right, that's not good Straight enough. Okay, up, like, like put some spices on that shit. Okay, okay. Shout out to the black oh, people's man. chicken, to the brown people's chicken. Right, you guys are killing it. Indian chicken, shout out to them, bro. <laughs> Fucking seasoning that shit. But oh, bro, man, you know, it's it's like you know what I mean. Straight up, straight up, man. Right. You know, you know what though, man. Like we, we gotta, we gotta go. <laughs> so okay, I'm, I, I want to end it with. Yeah. I'm a financial consultant. I got my personal branding. We've never talked anything about finances. You know what? I'm <laughs> Follow, follow, follow him on, follow him on Instagram and all social media if you guys <laughs> do want to see what he do financially. Yeah, yeah. So, so definitely, if you guys want to see what he actually do um, as a financial inst- uh, 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 in, in a, consultant, you, consultant uh, as, a, advisor, as a financial strategies. advisor, consultant. You know, if you guys really want to get more into it, follow him because. Um, <laughs> Not a hey. single topic is about finances. I don't, know, a- I, don't, I don't even know how to convince y'all to even you know, <laughs> that he's a financial advisor. My but, clients know. My clients know. They know. Uh, so they know. Just talk to them, okay? Shout out, so shout out to Layak, man. Uh, go ahead and follow him on all social media. Follow him on Instagram okay. at um, King Almighty Layak. Layak. Yes, sir. Straight up, straight up. What a, but, what a great episode, man. But what you can just call episode. me sexy and humble. I, yeah. I would also. <laughs> call him whatever you want. <laughs> I don't think I'll call him that. <laughs> what another beautiful episode, man, on the Made Revenue On Your Podcast. Shout out to Leg, man. Wow. Came all the way from Canada. And, uh, and this was explosive. Definitely the episode that I was uh, that I wanted, uh, not what I expected, but definitely an episode yeah. that I wanted, and a definitely an episode that I've been looking forward to. So, um, hey, that's it. Yeah, it's a wrap. We're out of here. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>